Welcome back to the Old School RuneScape podcast. I am Mitt Matt Cow. What's going on, boys? Rex is always. And hello, it's Rice Cup. Who wants to do the intro for the... Well, this? I mean, welcome back to our yearly podcast. Once a year, of course, how we always wanted to do it. You know, maybe one next year, too, if you guys are lucky. Um, but yeah, Leagues is coming up. I think it's a pretty big event. It looks incredibly exciting. We got, what, new regions, new relics, new tiers of monsters, new items. Um, Varlamore, which I'm not going to be going, but that's new. So we might as well talk <laughs> about how exciting this whole thing is, especially when it's starting in a couple days. Yeah. Two days. Yeah, there's Two also days Combat Masteries, too, which is like another whole is, aspect to, to I, Leagues. Yo, how do you guys feel about that? Like, as only, you guys pretty much only play old school RuneScape. So, like, how, how did the Combat Mastery strike you? What was your thoughts when you first, first saw it? I, I kind of thought that it was going to happen. I just wasn't expected to happen. It was weird. It's like, I knew eventually we would have some sort of uh, tier-based combat to make it more unique. But to see it happen now is exciting. But, mm. I mean, what we're looking at here doesn't really seem like a, you know, like a whole tree, like a Skyrim build. It's very... Yeah. You're gonna it's not, obviously it's not overly complicated. Yeah. yeah, I mean, if you read some of these words, they're a little complicated. I was like, "Am I stupid? I don't like." It's not processing it's, half the stuff they're saying in these. Um, in the do you think? Because really I was about. I was thinking about this. I was like, "Man, like most RuneScape players just play RuneScape." Like, I don't know. I feel like people have ventured out a bit more, a little bit nowadays. But like, you know, if you've only ever played old school RuneScape, you've never fucked around with masteries. Like, this is like a foreign concept, and like. Do you reckon there's going to be people out there that just don't understand it and just end up going like, how many is it we get? Ten. So they never get to like a final tier five or six uh, or whatever the I feel like are. the veteran MMO players won't have an issue because this is like a very simple skill tree. It's you know? not even very, it's a, yeah, it's not complex at all. You just go, if they can't figure this out. I'm dude, I feel, like, I feel like there's going to be some people that can't figure it out. And I think it's just going to come down to laziness. Like, because well, there's a lot yeah, of text. That's, that, that's okay. <laughs> you know, you know? It's just like... Yeah, that, that's, there's a lot that's to okay. read. Yeah, I, I don't think, know. I, I like it. I think yeah. it's going to be really I think fun. The and it is thing, that are not the one thing I don't really. like is that in order to get your tenth mastery, you have to do Zuck. But that's because I'm bad. That's why I don't like it. You know what I mean? I bet everyone who's super good at this game is like, yeah, a skill wall. No one's going to get the tenth one. Only us. I feel so bad. But dude, it doesn't how matter. How have you never killed much. Zuck, dude? You still you never killed it before. Not even a league. No, no. It's, it's like basically free in leagues. Yeah, if you do range build, especially, oh my god, it is so. Funny. Bro, there's like a, there's, no, there's a there's a relic that makes you like invincible. <laughs> and you get boosted stats. How can you not do this? I I'm not saying I can't. I'm just saying that it's like almost like a DMV trip. You just don't want to be there, and it takes a lot longer than it should. But the thing about the DMV is you'll get your license no matter how long you stay at Zuck. You know, you get reset. There goes all that time lost, bro. And what on a non-permanent game mode? So I might, right. I might give it a go, but it just, it just doesn't sound fun. But that's my perspective. And, and it might be what? a rare. You need to just Jagex, man up and do it, and, dude. And you know what? Jagex knows that no matter how easy you make it in leagues, a lot of people are still not going to do Zuck. But that's okay because <laughs> to max out one style, which is like the you know the most important thing, you only need six points, right? Six mm -hmm. points. And that means you don't have to do suck. You you just need to do like the the you see the top I mean the bottom left here, right? The these things that you have to do, you don't have to do suck to max out a style, right? Basically anything past six points is funsies, you know, just like small little little desserts. Like it's not that big of a deal. You just basically like put like three, four points on, on your other style and that's it. It doesn't really change yeah. a whole lot. So yeah, that is true. Jack it's not that very fair. Too, they they are not forcing you to do Zuck to really gain like ninety five percent of your power. So you you are good. <laughs> that good. is the saving grace because it's so simplistic. And I heard that the first six unlocks for the mastery tier are really really easy. Yeah, so they, they really might are. be able I to mean, get them like if you, day one. Yeah, if you possibly. read the graph here uh, at the bottom bottom left, as you can see, it's pretty straightforward. Like, the hardest thing is maybe Jad. You know. And then, nah, of course, if you can't bad. do Jad in leagues, like, it's okay, you know? No pity for I'm you. sure there's some poor bastard out there that can't do Jad, and, you know, man, you're going to get through it, bro. You're going to have fun either way. I feel you, bro. Yeah, I can't bro. do Zuck. You can't do Jad. We all got it's our all relative. out here. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. all relative. <laughs> I, I, am, I am hoping, though, because this is the first iteration of a uh, skill tree, and 
I think the first iteration is always going to be the weakest. And this one, as as strong as it does make you early on, which is going to be very fun, there's not really a lot of creativity. And the question is, do we want more creativity or do we want less well, in the mas- creativity? In the masteries. Yeah, because you like uh, you go I melee, they, but you can't split yeah. off from a melee build. Because there should, you know, I'm thinking maybe in the future you could have okay, you go melee, but then your melee tree has different builds too, right? Wait, hold up. Are you fo- by the way? So I haven't read this, but like, if you take the first melee uh, tier here, are you then forced to continue the melee one until you get to six? Or no, you, then- you no, no, you can go whatever you want. But if you want to continue okay. the melee, you're forced to obviously pick the next relic. And um, I mean, I think it's really cool and i think the the unlocks are honestly very fun i mean it just sounds very fun to play with but hopefully in the future yeah. if i think they, they want it, will... it simple for the first one because yeah. like, you know like i said man i don't like i know that we've all played games that have like mastery trees and stuff but like some people genuinely will look at this and be like so overwhelmed that that's just you know, that's just yeah, people the cookie that just clicker games, so. boys are not gonna like it. You know, but it's there okay. can't there can't be like ten varieties of like a melee route that you can take because people were just not like, yet. What the fuck you do not yet, bro. But maybe maybe down, maybe down the line. Yeah, I feel like for the first time <laughs> ever in RuneScape's history, doing combat masteries, this is nice. This is yeah, simple. Yeah, people are now. gonna be able to look at this and make sense of it. You know, I think it's good. Um, yeah, I wouldn't mind them like splitting it up a little more, but that's for later you know they could maybe base it on types of weapons right because now you know they've really s- split up all this all the styles now right even magic and range have you know different yeah. styles different elements uh different weight of the range weapons right you have crush weapons slash weapons so they could totally oh, go yeah. into that they could have a lot of want. fun and, yeah. and before we get too deep so in this podcast we want to cover everything leagues we're going to go over the meta regions Different relics, obviously the echo bosses and the items, and then probably some. Sorry, my dog's like uh, I, I can't in the even background, bro. Uh, <laughs> sure, and we're gonna go into fun builds here, and just to kind of overlay the whole podcast and what we're gonna talk about. But for the skill tree, what do you guys think is the the strongest? Is it melee, range, or mage? I think for the average player, it's gonna be range because you have a hundred percent accuracy. And you also can buy uh, for so it doesn't matter which tier six you get, but once you reach tier six, you can bypass all prayers. Well, you're not you can you do reduce damage, but still you bypass all prayers. So imagine yeah. having 100 percent accuracy and bypassing all prayers. Range is the only one that can do that, hmm. like 100 percent accuracy, right? So melee and magic will will maybe still suffer to an extent against certain things, right? But range yeah. won't have a problem. Hitting. Do you think it's fair to say that mage is the weakest for pretty much every build plus region and relics? Honestly, I think all three are so strong, personally. Yeah. I think I think the main thing is just range has a unique thing going for it that the other two does not, you know, which is never missing ever. So that's have you, have you, you seen know. a lot of people pick mage? Because I'm seeing meta wise, like a lot of people melee, you know, or yeah. range. Yeah, so I've seen a lot reason, of more melee. Yeah, I think the reason for that is last league uh shadow was you know that it existed for the first time in league so a lot of the the sweatier players they all picked mage including me because it's like wow this is the first time we we got toa you know for our league so we're gonna go magic build you know and that shit was crazy it was so stupidly strong and it's gonna be like the same thing here it's just every other style is also stupidly as strong you know i think that yeah they're all really cool i'm going yeah. melee and i'm going melee Same. pretty much based off the fact i just feel like there's way more variety with melee mm-hmm. to like do Absolutely. unique things it's like you've got dh you've got the scythe you've got inquisitor armor like you can really mix it up with melee whereas with range and mage it's a bit i don't know i feel like it's a bit one-dimensional it is i guess range Absolutely. yeah it it just feels like you know you're gonna get the t-bow yeah, that's what you're gonna use or the blowpipe or whatever crossbow blowpipe and t-bow uh mage is effectively trident saying for endgame shadow. right trying saying shadow where where shadow mm-hmm. is just like a whole class above and then melee you do have a lot more options i think what what could make it really interesting but i don't know if we're gonna see it very much is um oh what what's the region everybody was like roasting because Kandarin. there's like Kandarin. yeah, yeah. So, so they're giving like some sort of offhanded um like orb thingy right that like yeah, gives you elemental increased stuff. damage that could be really cool for mage like just that in itself but it's a shame that the region just doesn't offer anything really of value so it's a bit like 
a bit lackluster, but I, I really like that item. I'm almost tempted to make an account yeah, like, can just Kandarin, to get that. Kandarin isn't completely dead because if you want the strongest mage build, you still want Kandarin because Tormented Bracelet is still the best magic gloves. So, and a yeah. You know. Yeah, yeah they're called okay, guess. but because. Oh, is there me, a newer yeah, magic of, amulet out? Because I don't know. Yeah, it's because. Oh, the, yeah, for The free me <laughs> jewelry uh, em amulet and, and uh, ring is like okay. so strong. So that's going to be a popular support region instead of Kandarin. It's going to, you know, a lot of people are going to pick free me instead. Including By the way, me, unfortunately, you know, sorry, this is Kandarin. a bit of a side tangent. So something I'm sure you've all noticed in the last like two weeks. There is just like loads of really low subscribed YouTube accounts that are uploading daily like league uh, fairy crafting videos that are Yo, doing like Flumpo. insane. Shout yeah, out. dude, shout out to Flumple. <laughs> doing really freaking well. I'm like, damn, bro. Like these guys are pulling some really good views for these videos and they've got like a thousand subs. I'm just like, I, I've got a funny feeling that some of these videos are going to get more views than the actual league videos themselves because yeah, people are so hyped. And then everyone's yeah. gonna play leagues, and it's like, oh, everybody's just doing tasks, yep. tasks, tasks. Do, do you think it's league. more hyped this leagues than than last leagues, just based on the views? I think so. I yeah. yeah, I think so. From what I've seen, yeah, I literally sure. know some IRL friends that are playing leagues. So yeah, it's you know, isn't it crazy it's, that leagues is almost doing better than RuneScape or Deadman mode? Like it's like this game mode itself is so much more popular than. The original game you know mode. you know why it's because it attracts a whole new group of you know casual seasonal players right because yep. the original risk game like no matter i guess how much you quality life it right it's still you know hundreds of hours to do something or to get some like big goal done right so yeah most people are not gonna you know they know the game they're just not gonna play because they know they don't have time but leaks and, is and like it's, it's different. It's know? a little bit like um, Fresh Start Worlds as well, where it's like the beginning of a new game mode. Everybody starts from level three. Like that's a very attractive prospect. I feel for all of these game modes is like it's a, just a fresh yeah. playing board. Everybody starts off the same, and it's like you know, even if you're not great at the game, you still are gonna play and not feel too behind until maybe a weekend, and then you're like, oh my god, I'm I'm garbage. I'm back. I'm quitting. You know. Yeah. But, I'm gonna feel um, that like five hours in when solo mission is rank one somehow. He's yeah, in his third uh, you know, region. He's gonna put a VR rocking an like Inferno that. cape. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he's have Inferno cape with like an adamant scimitar. You're like, what the fuck are you? Yeah, do Dude, the one thing, bro, I almost made a video on my main YouTube channel because I was like, this would be so easy to farm views. Do you know how every single time a league happens, the economy in the main game fucking crashes? I don't know if you know, because you don't you don't even play on a main account, Ree, but like all of the items in the game right now are probably down like 10, 20, 30 percent because everybody's selling their shit. I don't know why people do for, it. For bonds, right? Yeah, probably bonds. They're, they're just selling their stuff and then they're going to play leagues for like a month or whatever. And the economy crashes and all of the people just freak out like why is my bank gone down a hundred mil like what's going on my zenites are so cheap now yeah. and it's just like it's the freest content ever because yeah. it happens every single time and people lose their minds and it's just like i don't really i don't know why exactly people sell their banks to be honest with you because you're gonna go back to the main game eventually i guess it's i, I don't know maybe yeah, they're people trying are just uh, not to they're, lose money or they're something price I don't know. sensitive you know they they get they panic a lot yeah they panic a lot i, I have a merch going ways. on right called bonds now i don't know if i'm gonna make money on it but i assume that people are gonna be buying a fuck done so they yeah. can play leagues and i i didn't even know items went down right so that's a super interesting point i wonder if it is to buy bonds so they can play leagues i think a big part of it is and also you don't another, need two another big four, part of it is that when people don't play the game well in this case they just don't play the main mode for a while they often just sell their stuff. It's weird, it, but that that ha but happens, right? But because that group of people does it, it obviously the you'll notice things go down, you know, quite bro. Everything's quite down significantly. Every everything yeah. and it happens. It happens every single. Yeah, time. Yeah, you have yeah, an example. I'd love is. to yeah. see. It's like, like you know, right, just like go and have a look at like Inquisitor. Like have a look at the armor. Look at the mace. Like everything. The the, the mega rares. Like everything will be down across the board. Yeah. I don't know why people do it though. It doesn't make sense to me because it's like you got to pay tax on those items. Yeah. I guess what people hope to do: yeah. sell their items, buy them back before people have quit the leagues and get like a bit of a discount, so they make a bit of money. But you can also lose a lot of money. You could potentially come out the other end like down if you do that. So yeah, a lot of people don't think like that. That's the thing. They just be like, "Oh, I'm not playing, so I'm gonna sell my stuff." 
That's easy, I guess. I mean, I, I would totally get it if there it's was the something self. you could... Uh, if there was something you could buy in investing that is, like, that's going to go up in value. Like, I had a friend back in, like, 2007 yeah. quit the game for, I think, like, four or five years, and he just ended up selling his whole bank, and he bought something like 20 Halloween sets, Hall Halloween masks. So when he came back to the game, he was, like, a billionaire when everyone was yeah. broke. It was insane. But there's nothing like that in the main game. Unless you're going to buy the Armageddon rug scrolls or whatever they're called. I don't Grab even, some of those. I, I, don't, I have no idea what happened with that. I just know people were making money. I looked up the uh, Inquisitor top. I'm not going to say whatever the fuck that name is, dude. And it seems like it dipped from 80 to like 67 mil in like one day, but now it's kind of back up. So, yeah, yeah it, it is weird. I, I don't know. I'm not gonna check too many items, but that is interesting, man. I, I like that. I like to know will, stuff like that. If you if you keep watching over the next few days, I guarantee that stuff will keep going down. Yeah. Like, dude, flipping old school Ringscape has the easiest gig. He's just farming all of these Timmies every single time that this happens. <laughs> it's three hundred thousand views, man. Everyone's like, uh, oh my god, my bank's gone down a hundred mil. I need to know why. Yeah, we'll have to get them on, dude. Very it's price TV. sensitive, and it's a season. The thing is, a lot of people they don't think investing you know they don't think about that stuff at all right so as soon as they you know see their their items go down right in in like Gotta waves sell. they just do it they sell, follow sell, along sell. because they're like oh no baby. it's over you know right for them but, it's uh, apocalyptic whereas for us you know it's just seasonal right it's a it's a pattern that we, we just ride the wave because we know it right we can see the wave mm -hmm. whereas these people don't they just like they think it's like there's no relationship there's no causation it's just it just happened and they got to do it. They got to react to it or something. And it's yeah. yeah, that's just how it is. I mean, it, by the, like for that. anyone listening, guys, it has happened every single time there's ever been a league. Maybe not the first time I can't remember, but like every time I remember there being a league, the economy goes in the bin because there's been leagues where I've not played and it's just like you get a drop and it's like, why is this thing so cheap, man? It's like this thing was like 20% more last week. And it's just leaks. And then the prices just yep. ping back as soon as everyone yeah. quits. Yeah, it's, I, I never it's knew seasonal. that, bro. It's, that's super cool. But I think people are probably incredibly hungry for leagues info, dude. So shall we mm. jump into the regions? Yes. Yeah. Which, which yes. regions are you guys going to pick? And then comment down below what your build is as well so we can follow along with the audience. Um, I think Yo, I was we, going... didn't, we didn't set a like goal, by the way, Mint. What are we saying, bro? <laughs> For a new <laughs> podcast next year. You know what? We'll do more than this? one. If this podcast gets 500 likes, we will force ourselves two weeks into leagues to do another podcast on how it's going. Oh, but if oh, not, we weeks. will not do a podcast till next year because we're all very lazy. So 500 likes or you're getting one next year, whether you like it or not. So Okay, fair. I, th I, can, I can do that. I can do that. Okay. I can commit. All right. <laughs> See if they want the league's content as much as they seem to. Um, but I think I'll be unlocking the wild. Uh, always got unlocked the wild. That's what I know. Plus, they have the new uh, KBD, which gives the weird electric sword and shield. The Kopesh. Yeah. yeah, I can't even pronounce it, but I really want that. And then I didn't want to go Fremenic again. I really didn't because it has Muspa, and I am the only person who hates Muspa. <laughs> but you got the sick ring and the sick amulet, so you got to go Fremenic right and the third region for me was the hardest to pick because i wanted to go candorin but i'm not mage and everyone says it's dead uh, i wanted to go varlamore but i don't want to do the coliseum and oh, it was so really easy man dude there's so much content her. though yeah, yeah he's such a bull dude he's just scared of doing all right, all right, here's content. the deal here's the deal there's <laughs> so much I content am. just do it that are easy you know, to do. you Involve might me. be able to fuck it <laughs> dude you know you might actually i don't know you might be able to kill um the the Colosseum boss, the Fortis, whatever his name is, you might be able to kill him in like a really stupidly fast time if you take like full DH and you've got that relic that makes you invincible and busts your stats. Like I'm thinking there might be someone that destroys that boss in like ten seconds. Oh or yeah, something. we'll, we'll get like, in the build in a bit because that's gonna be a sick build. Um, but if I were to do Varlamore, I mean, I wouldn't get. I already have a sword and a shield. I don't need another one. So I'm like, what is the best region that one I can kind of accumulate oh, the most points in in my skill set and use um, the actual Echo item? And I was like, probably Zaya, right? Because it drops the um, fucking green looking thing. It's a melee weapon, but you can range with it. And I'm like, that seems oh, to be wow. the only thing. Oh, you mean the Echo weapon? 
from Miss yeah, Worry? that could kind of add into my build. So I think I'm going to go Zaya for my last. Are you going to be was... okay killing her Spory though, man? Because that's quite new content. <laughs> Come on, brother. I was <laughs> rank 42 first leagues, baby. All right. I <laughs> and, absolutely yeah, yeah. torn apart the Farmer's Guild <laughs> back in the day, bro. I, I, I took it apart. My favorite league ever was when, I don't know what how it happened, but Mint was like, he had like a really high mage rank on the high scores. And then people kind of pointed it out. They're like, whoa, like Mint, you're almost like rank one for mage. And you're like, oh shit, yeah, I am. And you ended up getting rank one and people were like <laughs> trying to chase you to 200 mil. That was actually uh -huh. really fun. I enjoyed that. Dude, that was, the early that was close. Because once I saw I was close, I was like, I locked in, right? I just didn't sleep it on until <laughs> I got it. But I kept checking the high scores and some fuckers were following me. I was like, stop, yeah. bro, go to bed. Because uh, I think I was like only a couple hours off of getting it. Uh, but yeah, we locked it in. <laughs> what did you know. do for it again? What, how did you train it? So I was, um, I was a mage build. And then there was a relic where you could just hit and it like hit everything. Kind of like Ice Barrage, I think. I don't remember too much. So I just was at the um, Monkey Madness 2 tunnels and just nonstop. Oh, it yeah, was crazy that speed. was the place to be. I, I was surprised no one did it either. Because now if you try to get a rank one and anything i mean you got some dude on adderall red bull you know just dude there, there's a mazar for every skill bro it's jover i feel like a lot of people that aren't content creators probably do like you know people do that shit where they get like a drill to like touch their mouse because you can afk a lot of stuff in this league like you could leave your character catching karen bonds for like six hours and if you've got something occasionally touching your mouse and keeping you logged in do you reckon that's going to happen this league like, do you of think course. we're going to see crazy XP yeah, from random? Yeah, for sure, for sure. That there's always been non-content creators that sweat, bro. Like, like I stream this shit all the time, and there are like people that you you will get updates from in chat. You know that they're like, oh yeah, I'm about to be dragon ring. I'm like, yo, you're like a weekend, bro. I'm like, yeah, dude, I've been playing 20 hours a day. Like, I was like, oh okay. <laughs> you know, there's people that do that, bro. They don't they don't care about making videos. They just like to compete in leagues. Yeah, yeah. Basically, they respect do respect the greasy grinds, yeah. but. You know, chat, please be safe. I, I always have a fear that someone's going to die or someone might yeah, have yeah. died and we just don't know while playing leagues. So be, yeah, hopefully, be careful, man, please. Yeah, speaking of, how much how much are you guys planning to play? What's the, what's the schedule? Um, at least three weeks. At least three weeks. Because New Year's stuff is going to happen okay. and then it's GG. And honestly, so, by so the time that happens... How I'm many videos done. are you planning? Are you planning to do like a video every day? How many hours are you playing? Per day oh man like e easily 10 to 15 you know a day easily oh man well like oh okay, so wait wait are you AFK sacrificing time, sleep yeah there'll be sleep but like i'll be doing a lot of afk though you know as well when i'm editing and stuff I don't how know much about daily you're gonna videos. sleep per night i don't know about daily videos but like you know try to do a video one every one or two days because i'm sure i'll make a lot of progress that i can share that kind yeah. of idea how much do you reckon you're gonna sleep for the first week ray how many hours yeah, hour? probably, you know, like six hours a day kind of deal. Maybe six, mm. seven. Yeah. Like if I'm super that, motivated, nice. I'll wake up fast. That's the thing, right? If I'm like super in it and I'm having way too much fun, like I'll, I'll literally wake up within like six hours and then I'm just off, off to, gr it's, off to grinding. So. It's one of those, isn't it? Like, cause when, when me and my friends play dead my mode, we play, oh dude, I actually feel like every time a dead my mode comes around i genuinely feel like i'm borrowing like years for my like life dude that was <laughs> the like first there's, release. there's <laughs> years that are just like disappearing it's <laughs> because, that's what you are doing uh, right? yeah dude the first exactly the first it is. Is for because as me, soon like as that. you fall as soon as you fall behind in dead my mode like you just get Over. fucked so it's like you can't sleep if you want to stay ahead and like yeah. you end up getting the worst sleep, man. You get like three hours sleep Bro, and you wake up. And I remember, I remember like the first two leagues, man. Like I would edit videos till like nine a.m. and then I just bring put it out and then I go to bed for a few hours and then I wake up. But like I don't, I didn't, I, did, I don't I do did that like now. the grind, but yeah, I was obsessed. Yeah. I was so into it, you, but yeah. Do you guys feel like we're getting old and that's why it's just rough, dude? Because part of me is like I want to go as hard as I can, but I also like to live a lot longer than I think I could. Yeah. And I, those conflict. Yeah. You know, it's, it, it really the, the, does the, feel like a strain, dude. The thing, like my, my, my lesson, mom, you know, when, whenever, whenever like a league or demo mode's coming up, I'm just like, mom, I'm gonna be so busy. I'm like, I'm sorry, I won't be able to answer your calls unless it's like an emergency. I'm like, I'm gonna be playing like crazy, and she's like, it's not good for you to do that. It's not good for your health, and I'm like, yeah, but it only happens every couple months. <laughs> it's not like it's not every single day. 
and it's probably like a week to two weeks of just sweaty gamer gaming. And then after that, we're just chilling. You know what I mean? But yeah, it's, mm-hmm. it definitely feels like you're in the trenches, man. Like when you're getting four hours a night. I, I'm, I'm not good with six, sleep, dude. dude. I'm, I'm not doing that four hour thing again. Yeah. Six is good. Six. Like you, I feel like I can like do I six said, every single day. Yeah. But like you guys just go hours. to bed? Like, I, it takes me hours to go to bed. You guys just well, fucking. Dude, no, I, will, I, I will literally. I, depends. I will play. Yeah. Depends. I will play until I'm like about to fall asleep in my chair. And then I'm like, I need to go to bed. And I'll get yeah, in sleep because my eyes gone. I just make sure I think everything's like to the point where I'm satisfied before I go to bed. Because otherwise, I'm going to think in my, you know, while I'm, while I'm trying to sleep and then I can't sleep. So that's why I'm trying to plan it all hey. when I'm awake. <laughs> Fun fun fact that's not that fun. It's like when you're studying for something, when you take a break, your mind actually works on that thing you're studying faster. So that's kind of what happens when you're playing leagues all day and then you have that strategy, and then you take a break from it, your mind just races. It's yeah. like, okay, I could be doing this and that and this and that. And it's it's hard to go to bed because now it's like you got all these things you want to do because you're thinking clearly because your mind works like that now. Uh, yeah. But what 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 uh, regions are you guys going though, real quick? What uh what place are you going? Rakesy, we'll start with you, bro. Definitely going to be starting with Mortania. I, I feel like I feel like a lot of people are like Morty, Morty, Mori has just like so many good unlocks. Like it's just such a well paced like continent in the game. Like you've got the Barrows, you've got loads of Slayer stuff there, you've got a raid there, you've got the Araxites there. It's got everything. Like it just it's such a good spot to go. I, I feel like it just it, I reckon it's going to be a really popular region this league that's going to be my first one not to mention that the uh the echo guardians are going to drop the gloves that are going to enhance the barrows so that's pretty sick uh and it's just going to be a great best in slot um tob is going to be like insane this time around that's something that i'm planning to do is try and rush tob like to, I'm, a, I'm not gonna lie man we might have an ambitious day one because we're gonna try to do tob on first day and like, <laughs> hopefully get some completions okay. yeah like we're gonna we're gonna sweat for tob and then after that We'll I'm gonna be so mad if I see you in TOB gear and I'm just rocking like full justy <laughs> from a fire giant. I'm gonna, be, I might quit. You know, if I see this shit day bro, one, yeah, I might yeah, be like, I'm like, some bossing, bro. You gotta do some bossing, man. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, dude, off, why don't you come to to Mortania? Me and Rhea take you through some tops, dude. It's gonna. I've be heard that move. before, and we couldn't even finish the <laughs> TOB on our mains. <laughs> Y'all main didn't game, fucking though. carry me. In the yeah, main I, game, bro. I can't remember that. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, we, happened, got, we got very close. We got very close. To, yeah. Bro, you guys close. are both, first off, full time job PVMers, right? You live and breathe this shit. And you couldn't carry me leaves. through one POV, dude. Uh, I mean, I know I'm leaves. heavy. I'm heavy as hell, but. Yeah, no, trails no are hard. Trails are hard. <laughs> uh, but, I, yeah, um, um, I don't think you guys are going Zaya, but you could carry me through some raids one. So. Actually, I am. I am nice. going Zaya. So. Yeah, what's your, oh, actually, Rexy, what's what's the rest of your build, real quick? Yeah, I'm not so I'm not like 100, percent but I think that I'm gonna go Fremy, just because I I like the Fremenic region. Also, never done it before, and the Dagonoff Kings are literally my favorite boss in old school RuneScape. And the fact that the Echo version in Fremy is the DKs, I feel like I have to go it. Plus, you get the best in slot ring and amulet, so that's really cool. And then my final area, I'm. At the moment, I'm kind of leaning towards uh, unlocking Varlamore. I, I don't know why. I'm not 100% set on my third region, but I'm mm. thinking Varlamore. It definitely won't be the desert, because the desert is the worst, bro. I feel so bad for anybody that goes to the desert. Don't do it. Don't. Dude, all the, all the highest cool ranks time. went desert last time, dude. It's just you could not fucking like, clutch bro, up it or was, something, bro. <laughs> I was me, Dude, bloody Rice Cup was, was me, with me the whole of last leagues. We went desert. I was melee, so I needed to get a fang from TOA, which is like not difficult to get. It's like it's like one of the easiest items along with the light bearer. Bro, it took like I can't remember what invocation we were doing, Marie, but we were doing like relatively Experts. high invo. But we were doing guaranteed purples. Basically. Guaranteed purples, yeah. It was I think it might be like four hundreds or something, and we had shit gear. And it took 50, 50 completions to get it, man. And then by the time I finally got my fang, I, I was like, great, purpose. I can play the Yay, dude, he <laughs> literally fed me the purples, but by the time we fucking got it, I was just like, Checked I can out. play the rest of the game, went to TOB, and I was so burnt, I was just like, I think I'm done. <laughs> like, yeah. I don't want to play anymore. Like, it was, it just took so long, and like, yeah, last league was just, 
I'm not having a league this time like last league. Fuck that. I'm not going to the desert. That place sucks. Don't do it. Plus, you don't need to because they've got the um the Tomb of Can Shadow everywhere now. You can get it from Chambers mm -hmm. or Tob. There's no That's point. Cool. Like, That's a very cool upgrade. Who wants to go and grind for Infinity, mate? Like, what even is that area, bro? That was you just get bad some RG, like ugly honestly. looking blowpipe from the KQ now. Big deal. Like, terrible. Man's talking shit on the blowpipe from KQ. Right, then right, have a bunch facts. of hate comments in the. <laughs> it literally ruined like my whole league experience. Yeah, no, fun, desert, fun facts. I will never take it again, bro. Never. Fun fact: Blowpipe, the regular version, is actually stronger than the Echo blowpipe. Really? Yeah, because guess remember tier six, you never miss. The only redeeming thing about the Dragger blowpipe is that um you know it works like a fang, so you're way more accurate. But who cares when you're tier six? Once you reach tier six nothing and you'll be tier yes. six before you even get the blowpipe too because it's so fast so yeah yeah exactly so you should say man. yeah terran's actually one of the best range builds because of the blowpipe mm. but, but i anyways. heard you can melee zora now um, oh yeah I don't that's know how it. that works but yeah, yeah oh with like the halberd howl, yeah. only yeah, with weapons it. that can reach it i feel like that should be like that in the main game and i also feel like that for armadil as well i feel like you should be able to halley armadil like i, I just feel like that'd be so cool that'd be insane the Araxor weapon's going to be getting some buffs then, bro, if that yeah. happens. Uh, Rice, what's your build, bro? Damn, everyone's going melee. <laughs> melee's the best, man. It's yeah, just fun, yeah. bro. The, I, I'm melee the, the, the as well. But, but, You're but melee as well, dude? I, I already did range in Trailblazer 1. I already did magic in Trailblazer 2. So there's only one style left I have not done, right? Mm. And that's melee. So I do melee. But yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do we're gonna do um Zaya and we're gonna do well I guess I'll I'll probably do Free Me first and then uh pro probably Zaya Mauritania. I don't know the order yet, but that those are my three regions. And and that's and that's because that that'll give me one of the strongest melee setups in in, in leagues that is not the most popular. Because the most popular what? is gonna be uh Instead of Zaya, it's going to be Terran because the crystal body, I mean the crystal set effect, 15% damage and 30% accuracy works with melee. Yeah, yeah it's going to be crazy. I, so, dude, I was thinking about taking that one and then I looked at what the area offers and it's literally just the gauntlet and I was like, yeah, I don't know I if mean, I just want to pick aura, this just for the gauntlet. Trident, whatever, right? Uh, some good skilling. I'm going gonna, gonna to have a shadow or a sang though, do yeah, you know what I mean? True. It's like... Yeah, I, I just I, I don't know. Yeah, I don't feel there's enough in I, I initially I, so. I initially thought about Terran as my first thing, but then I realized everyone's picking that one for melee. So I'm like, ah, that's not that original. Mm -hmm. Everyone's kind of just going for the brute force strength because it's basically you just put it on and you have the best setup, right? You don't have to do anything special, right? But uh, but so I didn't do Terran because I want to, you know, I don't want I want to be a bit more original. So I went with Zaya because. I was gambling on the fact that they're going to reveal a special attack relic, and they fucking did, right? It's called Specialist, right? So so basically, I'm going to gain that power that I lose from not having the crystal set with Dragon Claws. Because with the Specialist, I will be able to Dragon Claw like fucking crazy. And also, uh, Race gives you Elder Maul and Dins. Dins will be super nice for like Slayer, you know? Just because you'll be able to AoE like a bunch of shit in the Catacombs, you know, or whatever, right? Uh, Elder Maul, you know, just the lower defense, standard, standard stuff, pretty good. But yeah, no, it's just it's just Dragon Claws with Specialist. That's gonna be, I think, my main selling point, right? I'm also gonna have the Darox with the uh, uh, Locator Ore from Free Me, right? Uh, but I'm not gonna have Last Stand because I, I like, like I said, I pick Specialist. So, so yeah, we're gonna be main, you know, main, main, uh, like mating the Scythe, but I'll have Claws with Specialist to basically cover, you know, my missing DPS. So. That's kind of like my my uh, PVM, you know. It's definitely a PVM melee build, that's for sure. Nice, yeah, that's dude. pretty much. Dude, that. do not. Uh, so you're gonna have to talk me through that again, Re. Why oh, are you shit. going specialist? Explain yourself. Yeah, what, what what I, do you think you need it for? Or well, is it so just like what's your That's that's the main thing. So I can use special attack weapons the most. So so you're just gonna love dragon claw in like ten times in a row. Basically, yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah. <laughs> Do you get your special back, uh, attack back faster as well? Like, uh, yeah, faster. like basically, if you miss a, a hit with your spec, you gain special attack. If you kill something with your with, uh, if you kill something, you get you get special attack back. And also, yeah. I have Zaya, right? Be so that means I have access to, uh, you know, the RCS mode book, so I can do death charge too. So then, on top of me, so if I kill something, I gain thirty percent spec. 
because I have death charge. But I can only use that once every minute, though. But still, that's extra. So, yeah. wait, are you not going Grimmore? I don't think I need it because I'm Zaya. You know? Should oh. we... Should we uh, hmm. go through the relics then and, yeah, so, and, and talk so, about the certain builds? Very uh, interesting. Yeah, so I don't think I, get, I need Grimoire because, like, the thing is, Grimoire gives you the prayer books, right? But I have Zaya, so I'm literally going to get the prayer, prayer stuff anyways, right? And I also have access to Arceus already. Yeah, so, so uh, I, it's funny because I saw Grimoire as more... You're seeing it as like, oh, I don't need to take that because I can take Zaya, whereas I'm kind of seeing Grimoire as, if I take this, I don't need to take Zaya. <laughs> like oh well, no, no, the opposite. thing is, there's nothing that will True. replace Dragon Claws, so that's the thing, right? If man, I'm gonna be is, granite mulling, bro. Really? Ten granite mulls in a way. Yeah, <laughs> but like really. Dragon Claws is just. The so engineer got good. me with that one bro, time. You, right? you also gotta think about it, right? There, in the melee build, my masteries, you 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 get this passive called like Echo Stacks that does extra damage, mm. and the stacks is based on how many times you hit. Dragon Claws is four fucking hits. It respect. will be good. Yeah, so you're gonna build up yeah. fucking echo stacks like fucking crazy. It sounds like, like a oh. fun ass build, man. Yeah, it's the it's same as a scythe, though, fun. isn't it? So it's like, yeah. But yeah, I don't. Better. I haven't actually thought really scythe. about. Yeah. I haven't really thought about special attack to be honest. I'm not really too yeah, yeah. sure. Dude, don't do it. Let me have it. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you can you can have it, man. I don't want to. I, I don't really want to. I don't want to do chamber raids. I'm just being. Okay, I've okay. done a lot of it recently. Hey, but I'll like, do Mauritania. You know, I'm there. So. We'll do some tops together, mate. Yeah, I got oh, yeah. solo mission wants to do some hard modes as well, so we can jump in. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah, that's but that's guaranteed. My build. I, I want to focus on a highlight, and that's the special attacks. Whereas, you know, because like I picked that build with Terran like f last week, and then literally the next day, Bodhi's like, "Uh, so I'm gonna pick this build." It's the same exact fucking build, same exact relics. I'm like, "Bruh, okay." Are you telling uh, me that Bowie copied your plan? Is he a little no, plagiarist? No, I'm just saying, it's just, it, bro, the if rat. Bodhi does it, then I know so many people are going to do that build, yeah. and I feel like it's going to, you know, not, it's not that original, right? So You heard it here first, boys. So, yeah. Bodhi stole it from Re. <laughs> no, bad, but man. like, yeah. no, Cancel I had Bodhi. the idea. Sorry, brother. Right? I was telling chat, like, yeah, we're going to do that Terran, a Mauritania freebie build. That's going to be the strongest. And you know Bodhi build. was in there, bro. He was lurking. Yeah, because it was, He's like, it what's is the, the mastermind build, saying? Bro. Right? <laughs> yes, sir. The Dragon Claw build... It's it requires more work, right? You have to like know how to max it out to use the special properly, you know. It does sound fun. Yeah. Who knows, man? Yeah, I'm not decided honest, on my nice. third region, mate. Maybe yeah. I'll come and do the same thing with you, buddy. Uh, uh, Maybe we'll... <laughs> nah, yeah, you don't even need specialists, bro. Last stand. Yeah, I, last I, I haven't even arcs. thought about special. I'm just thinking about <laughs> swinging a scythe, hitting DH axes. <laughs> that's basically yeah, it yeah. like i haven't even i'm thinking maybe for a special i'll get a double g mole in straight into a dh axe yeah stack boom something Dude, fun i like just that. like the i just like how zare gives me three melee special type weapons for different purposes you know dins for slayer dragon claws for dps elder maul for defense reduction it's perfect you know it's like perfection but that but yeah that's my build please don't copy <laughs> it's too late bro <laughs> see you man yeah. uh, let's uh let's go through the relics though each tier and just kind of talk about what we're gonna pick as um as our own builds dude because i feel like people are still looking for the meta and we kind of already know the meta uh but also unique builds though so for the first tier one relic i feel like it's almost too obvious you gotta go with animal wrangler right yeah i feel like that one's uh ang animal animal wrangler t uh, angle as well for the most part i feel like either all three is fine but yeah i think angler has a little bit more juice yeah i i mean you catch your food i think it does it cook it it cooks it, it. right 50 percent, so you can get food right away and then on top of that it also doubles the amount of chins you can catch so pretty much completely uh you know, it makes hunter free your so. ranger speed. Yeah. yeah. Versus what you got lumberjack where you cut trees. I mean, okay, if you like trees, do you get that flesh and XP, which is the easiest thing to level? Uh, and then you got power miner, the autumn elegy relic here. That <laughs> uh, I mean, you know, maybe there's a play there that I'm not seeing because I don't know like half the damn game, but it just seems like the obvious choice is animal wrangler. Yeah, I, I far, look at it know. really straightforwardly. Like, how many skills does each relic benefit, right? Power exactly. miner is. Mining and smithing. That's it, right? Mm -hmm. Lumberjack is woodcutting and uh, fire making and to an extent, fletching. But it doesn't seem to really give that much fletching XP. And then you have animal, animal wrangler. Fishing, cooking, hunter. Especially hunter because you can't AFK that shit. 
All the other yeah. skills you can AFK. So like, so like this thing literally saves you on time on a skill that you can't, you know, AFK. So that's like, you know, it yeah. does three skills and covers the AFK part, like minimize, uh, reduces. That's what I'm yeah. Yeah, what happens if you're in the wildy catching black and chompers and someone kills you? Do you lose your stack? I, do you I keep think them? so, unless they changed it, which kind of sucks. So I don't think you're gonna yeah, have to get like a teleport. It, but they can't get it though. So I think you. I don't know. Hopefully, we'll find that out because it does. Yeah. You know, in the wilderness, you can be ragged, which sucks, and it's also like a fun thing unless you get ragged too often. And with some of these builds, you know, you got a dude in DH that can't die. You know, even prayer's not going to stop you from surviving that. You're yeah, you're going to get one shot. You know? <laughs> yeah. the, the Especially if you don't got you like your last relic, dude. It's over for you. Um, so yeah. the wilderness might be a little scary to start. Uh, but yeah, well, Dar how I look Dar at it, Darox, though, you you good? Like on the first day or two, like yeah, I have that. So that's true. You're you you're going to have a nice little period of hopefully safety the first Jeez. couple of days. But yeah, how I'm looking at these relics is like, what is not only going to save me time, but also covers my weaknesses. And when I look at like power miner or lumberjack, I'm like, you know, That's you can AFK mining, stuff. you can get yeah. ore from like mobs, uh, you can buy fletching, right? And burn. You can, all of these things are very easy to do, but you can't really like, you know, fishing is kind of AFKable. You get your food right away, but hunter. That's a huge weakness, especially if you're going wild. You know, you got to catch those double chin choppers. That's it's so insane. It's yeah. just uh, I, a I would huge say, gap closer. I would say if you don't know what to pick, just pick the Wrangler because that's definitely think that's the meta. safest bet. Yeah. Yeah. All right. We got the tier two. Tier two. Uh, um, also, the passives too. Uh, XP multiplier goes from 5x to 8x once you reach tier two. So. For you newer Huge. guys, reaching the tiers is, is important. Do your tasks. Do your tasks. I think the, the tier two relics kind of have more um, options, but I did hear that uh, cutting corner cutters, which is pretty much where you run, you get agility XP, is the one that saves the most time. It's also the one that makes you not have to train agility. So that's kind of a win. I think that's going to be uh, a popular one. Uh, for sure. It is. They're so good. The, 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 the only sad thing about these tier twos is that was what was it called last league's trickster was, it was like a combined all yeah it was like a it. combined of all of these which is sad man. yeah they it was combined it. the corner cutter and the dodgy deals basically yeah parts of it parts of it and the parts of it thing. yeah With it was thing. it was really powerful like i i guess you could say it was almost too powerful last league because if you didn't take it you were trolling yeah. like it was just like what are you doing <laughs> bro like, why brother. do you do this <laughs> yeah that shit was good i don't uh, know which honestly, one i'm gonna pick because i feel like they're all good um, I think I'm gonna pick like, Friendly Forger just because it. it helps with Herbler like crazy. Yeah, you also get That's free herbs I'm thinking. while you're skilling. So, so I will say this: like Dodgy Dills, I think Dodgy Dills looks really good, but it also I kind of feel like it's the least appealing because we get life still back from our tier. Was it tier four mastery? So yes. it's like the only reason I take Dodgy Dills is because oh, I want a Blood Fury. But do you really need a second Blood Fury to stay alive? Probably not, especially with, like, you know, all of the other, like, buffs that you get. Hmm. So I don't think Dodgy Dills is, like... It's definitely really good, but I don't think it's necessary for what I personally want to do, which is, like, you, a lot of EVM and stuff. But, Rexy, the this, this stalls never deplete, bro. <laughs> oh, you're gonna get those silk, bro. It's <laughs> silk. With Banker's Note, bro. Banker's Note, Silk Stalls will be there yeah, pretty um, dude, a whole so league for two months. I think, Change dodgy, the build. Actually, I think Dodgy Deal is good if you do not plan on picking Golden God, which is a later relic, because Golden mm. God will give you all the money you need. Uh, whereas, and Dodgy mm -hmm. Deals is like, you know, a great way to get some easy money, right? But, but like, there's other ways to get that, so I feel like Dodgy Deals is probably the the least useful i think yeah. corner cutter is nice because most people hate agility so they rather I'm not train think, it what, what do i even need agility for yeah. with like what i'm Max doing I'm, honestly <laughs> that's about it Maxing. Yeah, that, that's basically yeah. it it's just maxing yeah. so i feel like friendly forager as a pvmer as somebody who's primarily going to do a lot of pvm this league probably going to be my pick yeah yeah i'm i'm looking at it from a maxing standpoint i just think family yeah. forager is nicer for that I think quarter card is good for that as well, but I think it might be better even past, you know, 99s. This one's definitely like, I feel like kind of the weakest one because personally, I, I'm going to go, I'm probably thinking Golden God later on, which will give me the money that I need. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. But anyways. Oh, is, 
it's difficult because yeah. I want to I want to take them both. I wonder if there's like a, a relic oh. that allows me to go back. You know, uh, <laughs> I, I'll be going a corner cutter because I really wanted to go the agility route last game, but I feel like the tier that I picked was better. But for this one, I'm maxing. So this actually works out perfectly for me because with Friendly Forger, there's a relic later down the line that's going to cover her. That's the thing. If this league is really fun, then I might max. And I might be like, for fuck's sake, I have to go train agility. What? I've never never maxed before. Ever. So I'm thinking about it. Yeah. They had some really horrible tasks too, the last leagues, where you had to do like... 10,000 monkey laughs or some shit. I mean, it was the most, it's barbarically <laughs> mean to make people do, and you would get the points at the later half too. So, say if you went like halfway and you got it done, you're like, ah, I can't do it no more. You wouldn't get all the points. You get like maybe a third of the points, bro. Yeah, you had to go yeah. all the way, bro. That was high scores, people. Oh, that's crazy, oh. MM. Who's going to waste all of their time for I that? I didn't do a single one of those. I did. Bro, so well. I, do I you know what I can't wait for, man? The thing I'm looking forward to the most is there being like, five or six videos on youtube that all say i am rank one in leagues yeah. i can't wait and then every it's, day it's just i do i'm sorry but i hate those thumbnails man every thumbnail <laughs> is just high scores it's so boring it's just like dude people care though it works like people yeah. actually click on those videos which is mad but they're just like it's just a picture of the high scores. And half the time it's photoshopped yeah. anyways. It's just That's like... hilarious, bro. Because before the podcast, you were talking about your titles and that was your first number one go-to. <laughs> hey, bro, yeah. we're, we are going to be rank, rank one. one. Dude, we got a master plan. We going for rank one, baby. We will be rank one by the end. I promise. You. I wish I could put money on that shit. Will Tom ever be rank one day one? I would. Yeah. I would put a. Dude, hey, I'm not talking. GPs, we're dude. talking long game, rubber. We're not talking day. I would put more money down, bro. What I'm about the long I'm rank term? Again, I'm rank one on day three. I'm still rank. Let's one. make a wager. I believe <laughs> I beat Tom in league points, dude. I think I do it. I think I destroy him. We'll see. We'll see. It'll be we'll crazy see. to see you max though. If you if you actually go. Yeah, dude, I'm gonna like completely rebrand all of my social medias, and every single one of my profile pictures is gonna have a max cape in it, just to let people know I'm one of those. And then guys. they ask you like, did you do it in like the main game? What? Where's your cape? It's like, uh, it's in leagues. It's cool. I did it on the official RuneScape game mode. Is what my <laughs> it, response it went was. poof after two months. <laughs> you know? Oh yeah. I feel you. I think what they should do is like every single league there is one. If you max the league before, you should spawn in with a max cape. Just, you know, little perk. Dude, Same they, as they do they with wouldn't pets. even do that with cosmetics for my pet, dude. J- Jags don't give no fucks. <laughs> yeah, they fucked up last time. I remember you were you were upset about that for like days. <laughs> yeah, bro, I still it, am. I'm still upset. You know, now <laughs> now, now, year ago, now, <laughs> now it remembers, but only if you got it in the last league. Have you tweeted them yet to make sure they don't fuck that up again? Because no, they, they probably already, will. They already confirmed, you know? That, oh, okay, that it, okay. Uh... But, like, the thing is, I don't have a dust from last league. That was from two leagues ago, so they don't even do those. So, it's lame. It's so Tears, lame. Bro. Anyways, Tears. tier Still three, tier three, I'm over it, you know? There's a chance I might get uh, it back, though. That it's sound like, like boosted it. Rates. <laughs> it. It's like boosted <laughs> race, and I'm, I'm doing Zaya, so there's a chance. There's a chance. What, what, what teleports are you guys going, man? Dude, this one's, um, a, this one's a litmus test. Clue Compass. You know? I'm going to really. go Clue Compass. That, that one, I feel like for the veteran players, Clue Compass is like just, you know, way more Dude, useful. Dude, I, I, I would love to meet somebody who goes bank heist and just, like, they need to be studied. Yeah, you know? well, the thing but is, no I, feel like, I feel like a casual, like, player that has that's not going to do much research right they're just going to probably go bank heist because it's like oh yeah i, I, yeah. I remember all these banks i'm just going to go straight to those i don't think any of these are Very bad true. really i think it's just more so if you are a veteran player and you want a bit more you know juice out of your telly the clue compass by far will have more options right you can go to some bosses you can go to some like really random ass area like dragon's castle don't ask me why you go there but you can go there so they, they they have it just has more coverage but honestly though i feel like you can't really go wrong with any of them i've used the fairy one last league and that shit was banging right mm-hmm. so yeah i feel like yeah, i think i did fairy last there. league but then yeah. i think was clue compass in last league no i feel like no, it's no, new this is it? completely new okay yeah. it's gonna say yeah yeah it's definitely good like for sure even for like barrows and stuff like, yeah it's gonna kick out yeah there's literally a telly there at barrows so yeah i'm just saying yeah like yeah i'm picking that one for sure uh but but it's okay i, I recommend compass if you don't know what what to pick right 
personally. Yeah, I, I, I read that just... really fast last time, uh, just when I was trying to pick my build two days ago. And I was like, oh, I might go to the clue compass. It teleports you to your last step. Then I read, it teleports you to any clue spot. I'm like, what the? That's yeah. crazy. It's like, <laughs> it's not even a choice then, bro. That is like a, a benefit and all the teleports. You know, it's yeah. it's overpowered. A bank high seems yeah, there's ridiculously clue steps, weak. Comparable. There's clue steps that literally take you to a bank. So like the Shala Village one, for example. Most of them. Yeah. yeah. A lot so, of them do. All right. Yeah. Easy. Tier four, what we say. Edit. That's a tough one. I feel like that one's competitive between the three. This is one. It's like, do you want to have fun or do you want to be a sweat? You know, that's yeah. Uh, you want to yeah. have fun? Go golden god. Have a great time. Yeah, Everyone's gonna love honestly, that. You want to be a sweat? I, I think. Equilibrium. I think I'm going mm. golden god this time because I'm only maxing and I've done equilibrium twice already, and I feel like it's good for maxing, but like. Uh, I feel like with the stronger XP multipliers nowadays, I don't think I really need it for just simply maxing. I think Equilibrium is really good post-99. But but I feel like also with the herb relics and stuff, I, I think the main reason I picked those is because like to support herb. I already have a relic that supports herb, so I think Golden God is going to be my pick just because it trains magic for free. It also give, trains your prayer when you have too much money for 99 and also gives you a lot of money. It's good money, so that's kind of why I'm picking that one. What do you guys? It, it does seem really strong, to be fair. Like it, it offers it's really a lot. fun. Like if you're playing leagues for the first time and you're you're kind of going hard, but you don't really have a build, you should go Golden God just for the experience alone of always alking. You know, it just kind of feels like the early days where you're alking your U-bones and you're doing everything and you're making all this money. You're getting prayer XP. Uh, sadly, I'm not going to be going the fun relic. I'll be going Equilibrium, which. Uh, Makes me very sad because I really want to go Golden God, uh, but but Wait, why you don't know, you? Because I I'm sweaty and I got to get the points where I can, man. You know, and it's going to save you so much time. What you get ten percent of the player's total level across all skills, twenty percent in the worst skill, and it adds on top of my little runner boot, so I'm getting even more XP. That's, that's busted as hell. <laughs> Um, but for reloaded, right? You can choose another relic from a previous tier. This is where the fun strategies come in. Where, what do you think people would be picking? for reloaded to really maximize this round what, what would they go i reckon bank heist <laughs> i was like probably not bank guys but uh, going back and picking up power miner <laughs> like you could you could like it would it could cut off like a weakness there if you want to um i, I think if people pick it it's going to be between friendly forager or corner car and it's going to be whichever one they didn't take is my opinion. Maybe dodgy deals if someone feels like... I, actually, maybe, yeah. I think dodgy deals. I underestimate how much people will probably really like Blood Furies on top of the combat passive effect that you get. So yeah, any of those. I reckon any of the uh, the tier... Is it tier 2? Tier 2s. Hmm. I think Rice muted himself. Oh. Rice, we can't hear Rice, you, Rice, you're talking to yourself, brother. Oh, he might have muted us. They might not be able to hear us right now. Oh, oh no, my bad. Sorry, no, I muted myself. Okay, I think I was burping or something. But um, uh, I was no. saying, I was saying, I think people will ch probably combo friendly forger and corn cutter, like the more experienced players, just because corn cutter is kind of like equilibrium. You know, you just gain a lot of fucking uh, XP mm -hmm. passively, which is amazing for post ninety nine shenanigans. You know, like points wise. Mm -hmm. that, yeah. But it, like, I, yeah, I think this I'm, is where like the unique that. builds kind of hit, right? Where people yeah. start kind of going away from whatever everyone else is doing if they have a really good plan. Uh, does anyone know what the meta would be for um for this dude? Like, if they were like, is reloaded even the meta, or would it be equilibrium? Um, I, don't I think for, for the the I think for most players, it's going to be Golden God. Yeah. The meta and, though, like for like actually getting the most points. Uh no, I think the most points is probably. Uh, reloaded or equilibrium because of the passiveness you know because like for example you can reload back into corner cutter for passive agility right S completely skip agility and that equilibrium mm -hmm. will help you skip your slow skill which is i don't know what it would be but it could be herbler or something right so i yeah i, I feel like because you you go all the way to 50 mil xp right for skill points for leagues points right so i think golden god is good, better short term because I, I feel like the money becomes less useful, right? As you get stronger. So, yeah. 
I don't. I think yeah. Golden Gold is the short term. It's like kind of like fire sale, but better. It's like a f better yeah. fire sale. It just sounds super fun. I'm yeah. just like, I wonder, like, what some of the top players are going for. Uh, for uh, I think Relic. Lazar is picking Reloaded or something. I think. Do you know what he's tying that back into? Yeah, I think it's Corner Cutter. Corner Cutter. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. if he's picking it, I mean, that guy legit. I hope he is healthy because I met him after the last leagues, and that man <laughs> looked like he needed some vitamins. You know, like yeah, yeah, he's, he's like, I, I, I swear, he told me he almost died. I was like. <laughs> Bro, please take care of yourself, man. Yeah. So if he's picking it, it's probably good. Yeah, yeah. No, nah, he looked happy to be done, though. Yes. That's all I know. Yeah, dude, those Sage's greaves are so... Oh, man. Imagine if we somehow got, like, a really, like, nerfed version of that in the main game. Ooh. That'd be amazing. Give it from, like, a world boss, and they cost, like, a world 10 boss. bill. 10 bill. 10 yeah, bill, bro. bro. Like, you bring like, the first updates mentioned. That would be so amazing if, oh, dude, because they add that into Deadman mode as well. I can't remember what it was called. It was a sigil. Yeah. And, like, I remember we, we saw it last Deadman mode, and we saw what the description was. And as soon as I got in, I put an offer in the Grand Exchange, and it bought. And it was amazing. The XP was insane, bro. It was crazy how good that thing was. And it yeah. is. Yeah, I, I really like the Sage's Greaves. Mm -hmm. They are really cool. And if, I, if there is any chance that I am going to max... I might take it. The only thing is, I'm trying to think like where all my GP is going to come from if I don't take golden, golden yeah. gold. Yeah. But I'm going to be doing loads of PVMs. So like I'll probably be able to just like out, like just a car and stuff like that. Yeah, but that's late later on though. Like you have to think about how much money you need at certain points of your progression, right? Early dude, he's on, he's going to be full just a shard A one, bro. You heard him. He's yeah. he's going to be rocking TOVs. Oh, I don't need true, money. True. I'm an Iron Man. Yeah, what true, I need true. money for? Fixing my barrow pieces. Yeah, well, like I guess you need money mainly for maxing. So if you plan mm. on maxing of any sort, then do you? I know nothing about maxing. Well, I mean, <laughs> what, con, what do you need money? You for? know, construction. Are you, you maxed on the main? Yeah, no god no construction Daddy. you need some money uh i've got dude yeah. i've got enough xp across like 10 accounts to have maxed like three of them but i've never maxed mm. uh wait hold up isn't there just like an easy way why do i need money for construction well you still Surely need money no simple matter what. Process to do this. yeah but it's not lots is it like what uh, like 50 not, mil not that much but you know some money it's probably how much do you reckon it is like 50 mil Less? I think it's 20 if you do Mahogany Homes. I don't know if you that's can do Mahogany nothing. Homes, though. All right, that's no... Money won't be an issue, then. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm probably going to get, like, five Tebos. I'll just out three of them. How much are Tebos mm -hmm. out for, bro? What do we like think? Like a mill. That's not going to... That's not even... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's the worst I'm, plan, bro. Yeah, I mean, the I, like, I get some DH play lot. bodies, man. There's yeah. loads there of stuff. Well, yeah, yeah, no, I mean, honestly, people. like, Golden God is not just about making money, right? It's... Prayer training and magic training. That's that's the nice thing, right? Mm -hmm. If it was purely money, I'd be like, fuck that, you know, out. You know, I'm picking like reloaded or something, you know. It's but, not I even mean, about yeah. that. It's about flexing, bro. Just alking everywhere you can 24 7. You're just going to look better than other people. Yeah. The thing is, I don't think I need it, man, because I'm probably going to be going to the DKs, brother. Yeah, so you don't need money. To... You don't need money. You know? It's just it's just for maxing. I'm picking Golden God literally just so I can max faster. <laughs> like, that's about it. And also, it yeah. gives me the money that I need for anything else, you know? But that's mm. funny, because I would so. be taking the recall one, so that I can... Or not recall, whatever. Reloaded. Yeah. Reloaded, so that I could also max with my Sage's Greaves. Yeah, but I, like I said, I feel like just going for a 99 is not, is not enough of a time save. I feel like the whole point of stuff like Equilibrium and Sage's uh. Greaves is... Is that you hit the skill... Ta uh, the XP task that goes beyond 99. I yeah, get that. Because I'm kind of looking at it. It goes to 50 I'm looking mil. at it from the perspective of I either have to run agility laps or I can just go farm DKs for bones. And I'd rather farm DKs for bones, personally. I just feel yeah. like that'd be funner for me. Yeah. Well, the thing is, so. if you have more Tainia, you literally have this fucking Sepulchre, which is insane agility XP. So you can just blast through that shit. I've never done it before. This may be the first time. Oh, is it okay. fun? Because it sounds well, like ass. Uh, I mean, it looks like, amazing. You might, might want to punch a baby. Though. You know, you might want to punch a baby learning it. But once you learn it, it's good stuff. <laughs> I, would, I would never punch a baby. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but you're not. But I'm just saying, it's like it, yeah. it gets you pretty mad. Uh, it's only floor five that's like a real tough one. But once you learn it, it's chill. I kind of might enjoy it, mate. This this yeah. league might make a skiller out of me. Who knows, man? Yeah, I'll you've be been saying that, bro. You've been saying that though. So, I don't know. <laughs> well, here's the thing. This is the first league that I'm actually looking forward to. 
Yeah, true. Out of like every league there has been, I'm genuine. I feel like I've been exposed to this so much now. Yeah. I've like conditioned myself to enjoy it. <laughs> and oh, every yeah. league, I've enjoyed it a little bit more. And now I'm finally looking forward to it. I'm just, actually, just I'm really looking forward to this league. Yeah. I mean, the thing is, I don't think it's possible to go dry. Because I'm going, I'm going top. Yeah, it's, it's like true. guaranteed purples, man. And we're going to complete them fast. So it's just going to be, it's going to be good. Yeah. This is an exciting league, man. Yeah. I'm starting to get more yeah. hype the closer it comes. It was, I, I was almost like null or dull to it or numb to it. You know, I was like, oh, it's just going to happen. I got to take two months out of my day and then inches closer and they show the relics and the bosses. And I'm like, all right. I'm starting yeah, to get a little that's more. You just go the wilderness and you avoid all the new content. You need Yo, to like, dude, get out be, there, bro. Like I said, six series to explore all the new shit. Mid Mad Cow, I don't got much I'm time left. Yo, the no, because I got to go wildy and do everything, do everything I do every day on stream. Like, go, more, so, dude, yeah. I dare you to go something that isn't fucking wildy. I would love to see you do something else. Never. But. In my defense, I really thought the wilderness would have been updated by now. So, you know. I'm, yeah, I mean, there's... you can still pick Wildy, but, you know, maybe Volibor. Oh, Wildy? Um, mm. But the reason I'm picking Wild is just because I want the, the fucking Thunderstaff. Yeah. Plus, I know the areas. The and I, I'm going to be printing from Revs. Yeah. You got the agility shortcut, um, the Deep Wilderness new update, too, where you just do laughs. I mean, you could talk, like, day one, printing money, potions, all this shit. Like, Wilderness is kind yeah, of... Yeah, Wilderness is pretty good for skilling. And it isn't bad. Pretty good you're right. I think people are kind of neglecting how insane early Wilderness is going to be if you, I mean, just if you take those greaves and then you use the fishing relic to get all that food you're not going to die. So you just have that bonus, you know, every lap is more and more and more. You do that for maybe a six hour log timer. If you're crazy, you're, yeah, you're going to have insane while, cash right from the start. If you yeah. do the only trouble is like you, where are you going to get, Oh, I guess you can get blighted restores and stuff. Can you mm -hmm. outside from the, of yeah. from the agility? You can get it into agility. It gives you food and potions too. You're only going to be able to use that inside of the wildy though. Right. I, don't yeah, know how I, that works, but I'm not worried because I did go the fishing relic. But early game, oh, that's gonna be so nice, dude. To have like, dude, I can't, the thing is, man, I love the wildy, but like, it's so dark and dingy in there. So your whole like first week is just gonna be inside the dark, depressing wilderness, and I you're know. gonna be like, yeah, do you know what I mean? Like it's the just first like, day, right? You'll unlock another region by then. That's why I'm looking forward to Zaya, and I'm gonna kind of miss Sears Village. I don't. There's just like a nostalgic bond between me and Sears Village, you know. And I'm not going to this. You time. and the Druids, bro, have a connection. Yeah, I just it's just such a nice little homely area, but yeah, the wilderness is dingy as fuck for sure. <laughs> bro, I remember getting scammed in Sears Village Bank for a Torag Helm back in like the early 2000s. Yeah, man. by a Druid. Dude, How I was really like, going for it back then, dude. 400k oh it was my like my, it was like my whole bank bro it was like i built up this cash stack 400k i remember i bought a dragon battle axe and stuff and realized i had to do the hero's quest to equip it so i sold it <laughs> and i ended up buying a, a torax helm and i couldn't shift it bro i could not sell it to anybody and there was some random dude inside the sears bank that was doing like buying whatever traded it to him he put 500k up and I knew he was trying to scam me, and I let him scam me, dude. He was just taking the money out real fast. But, like, I just wanted the I wanted to get rid of it so bad. Clicked accept. <laughs> Torag Helm's gone. Nothing in my inventory. Do you know what I did? I was... Dude, I'm such a... Like, I'm such a trooper, mate. I don't give up. I walked my ass straight over to the fishing guild, and I caught fucking raw sharks that entire weekend. Sold them to some, some like, peak air for, like, 1k each. And I stayed there until I had like a mil cash. And I was like, right, let's do this again. I was there. Dude, yeah. not only did that guy take your money and your dignity, but he also shaped your whole life from like then on forward. You know, because you still remember it to this day. He really, that oh, was man. a fork in the road for you, bro. You never, you, forget, really, yeah. you never forget the times you get scammed, man. Never. Yeah. yeah. Never, dude. It was, it was, I just remember just being like mad at myself. I was just like, I knew he was trying to scam me. I just let myself get scammed because I really wanted to just get rid of it. You know, but I was also pissed and like annoyed. But you know, yeah, I think you, it was because I bought it. Destructive nature. Yeah. I bought it for too much. It was like I bought it for four hundred k, and I could only sell it for like two hundred and fifty k in Valley. And I was just like, nah. 
I'm not losing that much money on this thing, bro. And I bought it just because it was a Barrows item. I was like, oh my god, a Barrows piece. I'm like amazing at the game. It makes you feel better. He probably had trouble selling that shit too. So he's <laughs> like, no one wants to buy this shit, man. <laughs> Nobody could True. fucking use it back then, you know? Uh, oh, but yeah, let's get to the uh, the tier five relic, boys. Uh, this one's um, also pretty cool. This is a hard uh, one. For me, I'm going to go production master. Like I said, I'm, I'm a sweaty. I want all of that XP all at once. It's going to go well with my equilibrium. It's going to go good with maxing and all the ore and all that stuff I get from like wilderness chests. And, um, but... Mm. You know, there's some some plays here where you could you could honestly go any route, and it looks very beneficial. Are you guys going anything different than me? Ah, uh, I think, man, honestly, I might. Uh, it's tough. I think I'm gonna go Slayer Master just because I have Zaya and Mortania, like Araxor and mm. Grotesque Guardians, are all Slayer bosses. So, yeah, I feel like that that's pretty nice. Do you think that's gonna save you a good amount of time then, getting all those points from the the mobs whenever you want? Yeah, probably. I mean, yeah, it'll be good. Good drops, money, whatever. I, yeah. I also for the bosses too. You get the slayer effect, mm -hmm. so you get the extra power. Well, I, I maybe I don't know. I, I don't know. You all, you already get the slayer helm, I guess. Regardless, even if you don't have the slayer master, so it's a it's you a get tough loads one. Of points for the um the treasure trial uh, treasure. What are they bloody called? Clue scrolls. You get loads of points for clue scrolls, right? Yeah, you do, but I don't know. They they said they lowered the amount of clue tasks. I don't know what that really there means. There used to be loads, dude. Yeah, yeah. They said that there's less clue tasks this time. So I don't know what that how that's gonna impact. I remember getting like thousands of points just opening a bunch of caskets on the last leave. Like it was kind of nuts. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Ah, man, it's a tough one. I'm not sure on this teleport, one. It would pair really nicely with the treasure. One, but yeah i think i don't i don't know dude this That'd this is a tough one though. this is like the newest reveal the last reveal so i'm still like figuring out how to which one to pick yeah this one kind of makes you think the slayer master seems insane production master is obviously yeah, going to save time with skilling it. and then treasure arbiter i feel like you got to go this if you're going to go like clue high schools or you just want to have some fun with clues because i mean you don't have any item requirements either so there's just so much I time think, save there for sure oh uh, dude it depends how many tasks there are for clue scrolls that's what i'm thinking there's not that many i think the production production master is pretty good all right we get a little closer to your mic brother i'll move it closer to me yeah um it's tough yeah once i, I once i see the new task list i i, I might change it i really want to go production master though it's just i love that relic every time it just feels so good. And I feel like this one's actually a little better than the last one, too. Because you can make um, 10 times the amount of, like, headless arrows or bolts and darts. So that's, like, easily 50 mil fletching right there, right? Which would, you know, that tier one relic that helps you with fletching. You don't need that now, right? And that's just, like, a bonus perk on top of Production Master. Not to mention cooking all the food in one one tick. And it just seems really busted this, this time around. Yeah, no, I think Production Master is really good for uh post 99 mm -hmm. oh yeah. for sure as well yeah so it's, treasure harbor is definitely them. nice for points uh, thankfully tier five is not something you'll get instantly so you have time to think about it so that's, like that's depending i'm gonna have to ponder on yeah, like sure. yeah like you'll feel the gameplay and then kind of like i'll help you decide do you, do you know which one mazahar's doing yeah he's doing i think he's doing arbiter treasure arbiter because okay you know, for maximum points, uh, it's, you know, always comes down to the clues. Because last league, my guy, he, he just took forever to get gilded, you know? But but that's kind of kind of how he capped the points. Bro. I remember I'm that. Is fucking I'm task that to get himself. gilded? Shit. Yeah, it was crazy. Is there a task to get fruit age? I don't know. I don't think so. I don't recall. There should but... be. That'd be really cool. Yeah, yeah, I might go that one as well, actually. Because imagine just like stacking up all of your clue scrolls for the entire league and then just doing an opening. That'd yeah. be pretty cool. I think the reason why they're going that as well is because they're playing at like a different level than we're playing at. Like we're oh, we're going to compete, but they're going to like die for this yep. shit. Yeah, they're going and if for you think about that end game, 
Speak for yourself, like, please. You're <laughs> I was, no, you're with me. I'll speak for your you ass. Enjoy the cave deal, brother. You, you enjoy that shield and sword. We're gonna get smoked, brother. You know, uh, we got going for like rank one, like legit rank one. Like he's he's but a for, real you mean rank legit one rank one. What does that mean? Like like at the what end, you, you know, all the way. To no the one's end. buying this shit, bro. All right. <laughs> <laughs> what, Rixie? You? Yeah, yeah, Rixie. We have a master plan for this league. You gonna play all two months? Yeah. 12 hours minimum every day minimum well these people yeah, do minimum. 20 hours minimum they die they're legit gonna die bro. i'm gonna report um, them they yeah me too actually it's gonna even the playing field but what, what i'm saying is that i think the the biggest things that that are worrisome to people playing at that rank is can they actually get that task filled and with clues a lot of them were you know can you even get some of these items in time right it's not even like a uh, time safe is like is it possible and with this i think it, it really cuts that time down whether uh whereas like for skilling these people mm -hmm. like you know their wrist break they don't give a fuck they'll click their lives away they can max without production master they can get 50 mils and everything they have this whole spreadsheet uh but for clues this is rng based right so it's going to really cut down that RNG factor. So I can kind of see why he picked that. They're all which... really good. All three of mm -hmm. these are like really good relics. So I don't really think there's a bad option. It just depends nah. on what you want to do. I feel it. Tough. Yeah, I still am not fully figured out. Because like I already, right. I've done the Slayer stuff before. So I don't know. Maybe I'll, I'll try something different just for fun. But ah, it's tough. I don't know. Mm -mm. What do we think about the tier six, boys? Banker's note. Banker's note. That I need my like banker's note, one. dude. Easy. Because I, what I've what I've heard people say is for total recall, you can go back to your boss and then go back and whatever, and it saves a lot of time there. But if you just have your noted food on you, you don't really need total recall. Yeah. So it kind of already counters total recall, unless there's some specific niche in your plan where you're really making use of that. Banker's note kind of already covers that weakness, along with you know skilling. I mean, it's gonna be crazy for certain skills. Yeah. I feel like that's a really obvious one. I feel like there should have been a better option mm -hmm. instead of total recall. Because like you've mm -hmm. got all your teleports at the start anyways. So like it doesn't it seems very weak in comparison to bankers now. You know? Yeah. Like that is so so crazy good. But maybe we'll see somebody do something crazy with total recall. Yeah, I mean total recall gives you out. your spec back. So it's you know, <laughs> it, you get a slight advantage when you're PVMing specifically. But like it's not good for raids or like Zug, you know, things like that. Could be good for like high scores for certain bosses because I know someone's gonna go for that shit. I'll rank one fucking yeah. KD yeah, no, I'd, I'd say if you don't know what what to pick, Banker Snow for sure. It's mm. good for PV Dude, and I think it's really good for skill. Pocket Kingdom is a really for the next one. Tier seven is a also really fucked. interesting tier seven, dude. Like, it's cool. It's I'm not. Cool, I'm not. Man. I'm not taking it, but like I think it's like a really cool idea. It's a cool concept. I want to take it just because it's so cool, and I love the name Pocket Kingdom. That's got to be the best name, right? What a what a solid name! But I gotta go Grimoire. I gotta yeah, go Grimoire. Dude. Like there's no there's no question for me, but it's pretty cool. Wait, yeah. so what's the logic behind Grimoire? Well, guys? for for me, so for those who don't know, I think everyone probably knows listening now. But this item can be used to freely swap between spell books, and I am not getting any spell books, so that's going to be great for having barrage. But that's kind of like a an extra perk. You get the book of it as well. But more so, I'm not going Candoran, and I'm a melee build, and I need piety. So this helps me just make sure I get my max DPS with all the other prayers. L and then you have the spell book on the side said for me too. Yeah. So it really counters all the weaknesses in my build and region locks. Grimoire, is that yes. how you say? It? Is it? Wow. Uh, we're probably all wrong, dude. I... Grimoire, yeah, Grimoire, yeah. Grimoire. 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 Who's taking over, Grim, bro? Uh, yeah, I yourself. think I'm. I'm gonna pick Grimoire just because I need piety for my melee build. That's it. Nobody wants to go Candoran. Nobody wants to get that. Little and ancients might be lantern. useful still, because I'm not picking desert. Well, like, cause like I don't really think I need the resources all that bad at this point, you know. Same with Overgrown, because like, here's the thing, Overgrown is like farming, right? I literally have Thai mm -hmm. farm, bro. I mean, Zay, I have Thai farm, so I can easily bang out on 99 just through Thai farm, so. And the supply drops are going to be more than enough. So unless there's some sort of strategy <laughs> behind your Overgrown, like, you're yeah, going to yeah, have a farming than guild in Zaya, right? Yeah, you got a farming patch, man. Yeah, you, you, you have some farming. <laughs> you, I got yeah, the whole guild, baby. <laughs> Yeah, you get farming guild as well, right? In Zaya, so 
I feel oh, like yeah. that's not really needed. That's where the Echo yeah. Boss is. By the way, what a weird Echo Boss. Out of all the bosses on fucking Zaya, they're like, we'll just that's do this boring. one. Yeah. It's boring. What it's was so Hydra or something? Right? You get like a little weird cannon looking weapon. Yeah, I guess they just wanted like like different tiers of Echo Bosses, you know, different level scaling. Hmm. So like his Hispori was kind of like the easy one, you know, to go with for. A lot like of cool Soul, concepts. Example, Echo Soul sure. is way harder, you know? Right, than yeah, all the other definitely, ones. definitely think it's grown more for me. Yeah, yeah, I, I suppose, you know. I, I need that piety, bro. I just need it. You know, without yeah, piety, I'd build? be, you yeah. know, any comments in my YouTube videos, you know, you got melee build and you're not using piety? Uh, mm. I don't want to deal with that bro, shit, dude. Was it last league <laughs> alone, when you went, bro? What was, dude, what was that league? I swear you went like some weird build mint and you had like the Tazar armor. You're like full obsidian and it was like your best in slot. You picked some weird. Didn't you bro. take like Fremi Wilderness no, and something sure. weird? And you, you were you, you already were know around. that's gonna be my diss this time too, and people are gonna <laughs> shit on me because none of my regions have armor. None of them have armor, bro. So and why would you do that yourself? Don't do it, man. I have to. I you have don't. to. Man. Just take something different, dude. Take like I was gonna go Falador. No, nah, I don't want to do that you shit. Cannot, I don't want to dude, if, if your best in slot armor for the entire league is going to be Obsidian, then why are you wasting your time playing? It's, it's just like the top and bottom. And that's <laughs> literally almost close to Bandits. It's so close. Yeah, that but it's probably going to give me a max hit. Maybe one less max hit. That's it. That's literally dude, it. Don't do it yourself, man. That oh would like God. that would decentivize me from logging in every day to hey, see my character in the armor. Go back to the Silk Stalls, brother. Use, All right, dude. I don't know here. Plug in and just like copy somebody in full Torva, and you'll be. I guess that help. But I wanted to go um, the Falador you, region, bro, right? So I can get Bandos. But I don't need the dog time. sword. You know what I mean? I don't need the dog sword, so I didn't go it. Yeah, the dog sword's a bit questionable. I don't like it. But like, are you going the exact same path as last no, time? No, um, my What's third different? region was Kandarin last time. Oh. So now it's Zaya. That's the only difference. I didn't want to go to Fremi again. I really didn't, but it's fucking good. You know what I mean? You can't deny how good Fremi is, so I have to go Fremi. So I was not going to go Fremi this time. Yo, Reed, did you hear any of that? He was talking so much shit. Oh, you're muted, bro. You're uh, muted yeah. again. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah. I, no, that's easy. So, Mint's best gear is going to be full obsidian. <laughs> really? Zaya, bro? Zaya? Mm. What, uh, what other gear can you get in hey. Zaya? Other oh than... man, yeah. See, that's what I'm saying. You should have done Volamore, man. You get perilous. It's moon, not too late, bro. It's not even started. Don't take <laughs> oh. what you're taking. Fuck Volamore, dude. He's doing the same shit as last time because he refuses to touch new content. Dude, it's so easy. No. Really cool. That's the thing, bro. Bro, like the only high level content Volamore is is Calcium. Everything else is literally like low to mid level content. Now I was roaming around um, that area, and I kind of get the gist of it. Yeah, I just really don't simple. see it going with my build. That's the thing. It's it's the build, bro. It's all about the echo items and all the points you can master. And yeah, I don't need a spear stuff. and a shield, bro. I don't <laughs> need any true. of this bullshit. Yeah. I you know the Soul best thing I can get is a long range melee weapon to go with my relics because that shit's probably gonna be pretty good. That's it. Wait, obsidian? So. Yeah, I guess so. I guess obsidian's your best. Here. Yeah, but Obsidian's good. It's good, man. It's, it's not right. that bad, it's bro. Decent. Yeah, it's decent. You get some strength bonus. Fuck you, I, fuck you, Tom, bro. You don't want to. Wait, no, no. Oh actually, no. You have torso, right? No, torso's cannon. No, no. no that's and it's only one strength bonus better. So it's like, dude, just do some clue scrolls and get like, I don't know, get a kilt that look better, <laughs> and then try to figure out a top to wear. Uh, like elegant swells. Okay. Bro, that's the I'm same gonna, strength like, bonus. My as best manly gear is gonna be Inquisitor. That's not easy to get. Inquisitor is so nice, dude. It is it's the hard. most beautiful gear in the game. It's just I love hard it. to get. It's gonna take some time to get. I can't wait. I'm really looking forward. I, I've been, gr bro. I've been doing the nightmare for Sony on my <sighs> Zerker in the main game, dude. I'm not even joking. I think I've averaged like four and a half kills per hour. I've got 440 kills right now. Like <laughs> I have spent over 100 hours killing that boss on my Zerker, man. It's, I love it. I actually really like Fatalis. Okay. I love it. I really do. And I feel like that's not a popular opinion because Fat no. Fasoni kind of sucks. But I really like the fact that you're rewarded for good gameplay and you're punished for bad gameplay. I love that mechanic. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. I just really like it.
sounds like ass, dude. But I'm glad yeah. you're enjoying it, bro. I've yeah. seen Rice Cup solo that thing. I'm like, what the fuck? Bro, Rice Cup's on, a madman, dude. <laughs> dude. Rice Cup got like four Inquisitor and completed the Nightmare before the, infa- the fucking Fasani was a thing. This dude was doing 25 minute kills to get his Inquisitor. <laughs> I, I was hearing him complain <laughs> about that shit. I'm like, how are you still doing it? I swear it took him like three years or something. It was yeah, no, mental. I, yeah, I, just, I was just doing it for like a year straight. Yeah, honestly, it was just. It, it know, was i'd come into rice cup's times, fucking bro. stream and it was literally like 20 minute kills yeah it was regular nightmare solos like i don't uh, bro i don't know how you did that honestly you know, that's COVID, mega it was COVID impressive. season I've, i guess i reckon you could like be in a jail cell for the rest of your life no. and like you would be fine bro no, <laughs> you would be I, 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 would bro. Uh, I mean i will try to find the positives but i don't know what you know what i mean but all the inmates true. would be like how do i do this boss bro <laughs> <laughs> You get he protection just, in the showers, dude. Don't touch his whole brother. He'd just be in the cell, just drawing a line every day. And that would just be enough to get him through the day. Be like, mm. looking forward to that line. Mental. Pain. Okay, all right. Tier seven's done. <laughs> <laughs> What's next? Dang. Yo, um, Pocket Kingdom, though, man. That, that's, so, that's such a cute I one. hope. I bet Solo Mission goes Pocket Kingdom, just because it's cool. I feel like he does. I can yeah. see him go on that. That's my prediction. Well, he's dude. not. He he, dude. I I I have inside secret. He told me he's doing range, so I feel like Grimoire yeah, well, might not well. be that important as a range. You know, because like, well, are you supposed to be weak in this, bro? The depends if he goes. Depends you know? if he goes Zaya though, because if he doesn't go Zaya, he definitely wants Grimoire. But why would you not? I think range bowl Zaya is really good. You know, if you go I crossbow guess. route, you get Buckler, you get Rigor, also Tebow. You know? Yeah, but you, you eh, I guess, but like he's probably gonna get Tebow and uh TOB anyways, so it's like Yeah, I don't know. Is, is he gonna need the buck? I don't know. Like is is a crossbow really gonna be that useful? Yeah, yeah. I mean it's better for things that Tebow it doesn't cover. But I don't know, it really depends on what he's gonna do. Well Which I feel like it'd be Tebow or blowpipe. I can't think of no, anything. The thing is blowpipe every time you move, you lose half your damage. So unless you literally stand still, like the blowpipe just loses half the damage. So Yeah, that's true, I guess. Yeah, that's why the blowpipe is kinda like you can't just have it on its own. Oh not you know, necessary. But like T Bow could cover a lot of it. It's just yeah, Armador Crossbow is nice because it doesn't care about your defense or your magic level. It just hits hard <laughs> in you know, every two takes mm. and you can move around. But yeah, it's, it's it's like, you know, fair game. Anyways, tier eight, I guess, right? Tier eight time. I think you know what me and Rakes here going, dude. What are we going for, man? Last stand, of course. It Come just on. it sounds the funnest. Oh, it yeah, might bro. not be might not be the most efficient, but it sounds the funnest, man. I, I feel mean, like you, I you're gonna be in Mortania. You'll have DH, and that's yeah. just crazy, bro. Two fifty five combat stats with the full maxed out melee branch and DH yeah. with the amulet and shit. What the fuck that's gonna hit? that's gonna make some, for some fun max hits i i think it'd be last stats yeah it'd be okay. yeah it'd be hitting like 700s but I, i'm gonna go specialist because i know everybody's gonna go last stand no no but like i said i already told you about my build with the specialist i'm trying to be you, special you know trying to be a special boy <laughs> do you reckon guardian's gonna be selected i feel like yeah, a lot of people guardians. might use guardian especially if you're like like you're guardians not very safe. confident at doing certain raids and stuff yeah. and like you know it probably would be really i good just think that. guardian's the most boring by far you know, because it's like, Damn, yeah, bro, yeah, you gotta do it like that. I just summon thrall. You know, it's the girlfriend relic. <laughs> 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 that's, the, that's the girlfriend. It does help in Gauntlet though. So that's the only relic uh, you could really, you know, if you're going elf build. I mean, last time works at Gauntlet too, right? True, but I mean, I'm yeah. not picking Terran though. Who cares? You know. Yeah. But if you're picking Terran. Those dude, last stand work. just sounds so fun though. Yeah, last like, dude. It's... I feel like you can do so much with that. It's quite versatile. You can have some. Look, fun here's the thing: if the specialist wasn't a thing, I would have done last stand, basically. Because then I, I I'm picking Mortania for the Darox. You know, I want to use the Darox too for fun. So you think about it, last stand too. You don't need super combats, I guess. I mean, I guess you'd have them at that point, but but if the, you the, need remember, boosted it's boosted two fifty five. It's every three minutes though. You can't spam it. Deal, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's but but like the thing good. is, it goes down super fast. So you only mm. you only get those stats for like <clears throat> four seconds or something. Sixteen game ticks. Wait, you uh, are wait, 16, well, That means 16. you get Actually, to fuck seconds. up at least once or when you go kill Zuck, dude. Like, do you understand how good that is, man? Like this yeah. this. 
this right it's here really guarantees you an infernal cape. Yeah, it's really. Good. I wouldn't do Zelik if Ariana Grande yeah, promised yeah. me a blowjob, dude. I'm just telling you right here. I don't care, bro. It's I'm may. Dude, I don't see it happen. It just sounds. Do you want to know, so know a bro. really really cool fact, man? Do you know? Do you know? You see you like know, thousands of infernal capes in game. You see them everywhere. Like, there's one defense accounts that have them. There's mains ever. Everyone has yeah, them. Yeah, and it's also a very thriving, lucrative business, if you know what I mean. So, <laughs> well, <laughs> I don't me, think a lot of those are legit. This. Yeah, a lot let of me tell you this. This is a, this is a fact. I owned the fifteenth one in game. First fifteenth in game, bro. <laughs> okay. Do you want to know the crazy thing about that? When I stepped foot inside that inferno, I didn't even know how to fucking pray flick. <laughs> genuinely couldn't pray flick and i got the 15th infernal cape in the goddamn game i got one before rice cup i got one before Bro, half of the, the decent tvmers <laughs> that make videos and are on twitch dude yeah. i fucking went in there with pure determination dude true, and i true. came out a week later with a fucking infernal cape dude, dude. i knew you, you were gonna bring that shit up bro yeah, i thought you, you, you can't go bro. in there with fucking final stand banker's note i i don't even know what to tell you man like just just like, don't play, just bro. take the obsidian mate like if you're gonna be running around an obsidian with a fire cape please just just don't <laughs> just don't go new ranger Dude, it's gonna be no really ranger. awkward when i destroy you in leagues again it's gonna be really awkward bro when i just uh, don't, don't know, have you ever beat me in leagues have you ever beat me in leagues i've never tried i always i always quit after like a week because i got bad rng <laughs> <sighs> you know what i mean brother it is what it is, mate. It is what it is. Maybe no, just no, time around, dude. Purposely it. tank the Zuck hit and become stronger. You know? Yeah. It's going to be a strat. Like, dude. It's crazy. You, you, see, you, bro. Can't, you can't be running Obsidian with a fire game, man. thing is, I'm not like, afraid of Zuck. I, I just don't want to do all of the waves before Zuck. Bro, that why are you so like full of excuses, ass, bro. mate? It's the same shit with you not wanting uh, to get a damn passport. Why don't you want to go outside your comfort zone, man? Like, do something different, you know? What? I, I just don't want to fly right now, dude. I'm taking a while off. That he's scared. Oh, of There's an excuse for everything. Dude, the, the, okay. the fucking uh, what's the uh, people that serve you nuts on the plane, bro? What do they call them? Air hostess. Yeah. Even she was worried, and I thought she was gonna be like my beacon of hope because I was on like a weird seat. She's sitting next to me, and she was just like. The worst. Oh, fuck, that's not a good sign bro oh and then you know a uh, sadder note what really fucked me up mentally and this is why i gotta take a year off is seeing that one plane just kind of like do a doom loop oh for that, that? Guy. isn't that like in mexico oh. or something or like yeah so it had a bunch of cancer doctors on there so something probably happened right um but oh i just seeing that broke my heart i was like oh i just gotta take a break from airplanes for a bit I know I'm gonna fly in the future. I just hated that. Hated it so much. That's fair. Oh, I mean, yeah. we all have like silly fears of things, man. I like freak myself out sometimes when I'm in the ocean. I oh, dude, we don't ocean. have sharks where we go. Like we don't live where it's warm enough to have sharks. But if I'm in the deep ocean, man, I start freaking out, man. I'm just like that. How often anything. are you deep in the ocean, brother? What do you do out there? Swimming, snorkeling. What the you know? fuck? You, nah, do you swim what deep ocean? Fish, do I? Do I what? Do you swim deep ocean? Not deep. It doesn't have to be that deep. But like you know, when the water's like above your head, you can't touch the floor. That's, That's deep to out, me, dude. Fuck you're that. You're at your that point, right? It's like at that point, you're no longer the apex predator. And if a shark decides he wants you, there ain't a lot you can do. Do you know what I mean? That's the thing. It's like. It's an irrational fear, but it's rational because you are no longer the apex predator. As soon as you go into that water, right? It's like you are no longer like the alpha species. Like if something wants to come take a bite out of you, there's very little you can do about it. Yeah, I got so it's, bad it's news like, for you, brother. You're not an alpha species outside the water either. <laughs> okay, so I would be a shark on the land any day. Like no problem. <laughs> What are you just out there of like a stick, dude, looking for fish? I mean, what's what's going well, on out that's there? What bro? I'm saying. That's that's like the tables have turned, you know. But I um dude, I can't do people like swim in places like Florida? Because you guys have sharks there, right? Like bull sharks. People do some shit. crazy shit in Florida. Why are you asking me why? I don't Florida, live bro. in Florida, bro. <laughs> I don't know. You're in Florida. You probably know more. I have man. viewers in Florida and they you know, you, you you can't be surprised what they do in Florida, man. They they do some crazy shit. For sure, they they like no fair. it's like their own country yeah it really is bro. it's a respectable country but it's also uh very bizarre they they, they don't care over there man 
at all. But I, I respect the the swimming in the ocean, dude. I can't do it. I got stung by a jellyfish when I was a child, and it changed things. It's fair. Bro, you heights. can't tell me. I I I've been stung by jellyfish. I don't think it's that bad. It's not I as had... bad as a bee sting. What the fuck kind of bee did you get stung by, bro? <laughs> a bee what? or a wasp or whatever, a fuzzy one. So I was, I was, I think it was New Mexico or Mexico or something. I think it was Mexico actually. I don't think New Mexico has water. <clears throat> um, and I was just out there and I was swimming with some kid and they just started screaming and I was like, oh, this hurts. So I get out and there's just just huge tentacle from one nipple to like my belly button, dude. And I just <laughs> rip it off. And for three, because I didn't know you could pee on it. That was a strat. No one told me. So for three hours, I'm just sitting in the shower, just just face tanking this pain, dude. It is horrible. I've, I don't think I've ever been stung by a bee where it's lasted three hours like that, man. So I don't know what kind of bees you got in the UK, but that's terrifying, man. Oh, I mean, it might have been the jellyfish. It might have been not. I don't know. I don't fucking know, dude. Nah, man. I also have an irrational fear of the ocean. That place is scary, dude. Yeah, I, dude, I like freak myself out. And the crazy thing is, I'll be in somewhere like, I'll be somewhere like in Greece or like Spain, where like they're just, yeah, there might be like a great white shark that's seen once every five years. Do you know what I mean? It's not like they're there. It's not like you go and, like, if you go, if you jump into the water in Florida, you're probably going to encounter sharks if you stay in there long enough, right? So, but it's, it's just like looking out into like, you know, when you pop your head under, uh, you probably had that. If you pop your hand, head under the water and you just look yeah. out, and you can only see so far before it just becomes dark, right? That yeah. shit freaks me out because I'm just oh. like, fucking anything could be coming. I hate it. Just the thought of it, mate. I, I, I think... really, but I, I love the sea yeah. and I always go deep. <laughs> like, I just can't help myself. I always go deep. And I'm always, I always get to a point where I'm just like, I need to get out. I can't go any further. I think those fears are ingrained in our DNA through survival because a lot of people have those fears, man. Um, and I think they're just survival tactics. It's like, yeah, don't go to the darkest parts of the ocean. Don't do it. Yeah. You know, just don't do it for whatever reason. Yeah. Don't be uh, up in the sky. Do you know, do you know yeah, what I mean? do Dude, I absolutely despise. I get them all the time. It's like these fucking TikTok people that get into the ocean with like bull sharks and they're like oh. touching them and pushing them away. I'm like, don't normalize this. And I hate it because I'm just like, they're just like, oh, see, they're friendly. They don't, they don't want it. And then there's like an occasional video of it just like fucking dashing towards one of them. Why normalize it? It's like, yep. these are not, yeah. they're not pets, bro. Leave Wasn't alone. there like a TikTok that was like literally lost at sea on purpose? He was just sitting there swinging on like some like small raft and the, you couldn't see land anyway. We got to weaponize these people. Uh, you know, like there is probably on a lake somewhere. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was, we gotta weaponize these people they have bigger balls than than anyone i know how do we make this part of the army dude how do we get these people in the front lines Bro, i love i love how during the podcast rice cups just having like a free course meal just like yeah i'm down. just no nah, i just have one one <laughs> little bun <laughs> dude yo re what are you scared of you didn't you, you didn't contribute to our i'm scared of uh l losing my memory mm. well shit that's gonna happen man no. But you'll forget all about it. <laughs> <laughs> you'll be fine. I, I do, I do main... Cusco puzzle boxes on my own, so that mm. helps. Oh, there you go. Yeah. yeah I, always, you know, that, that's always, I always forget stuff too, and I always think, am I going to be one of those people that actually... I refuse. How does it happen? Because you can be really sharp and then just lose it. Or <laughs> is it like a progressive thing? No, I think it's progressive. Like, Unless dude, you have an ask... accident. You know what I mean? Yeah, like oh, a brain sucks. trauma. Boom, you know? Uh, something that'll make you feel a little bit better in China. They just recently, I can't say if they cured it or not, but it's been 42 out of 42 successful patients of Alzheimer's have been cured so far. And it's something where they dissect lymph nodes in your neck that have a protein that goes to your brain and fucks it up. So, yeah, it's, uh, I read about that. It was like, uh, it's like a buildup of certain things mm -hmm. that they can actually take out pretty easily and it helps to improve the memory, you know? A lot. Not like not even prove like these people are Alzheimer's and then all of a sudden they're just not yeah, having that it, and they're I don't recovering. Think it got completely re erased, but like they got like you know, that shit was like so much you know from what I've so seen they've better. been getting better, but I, yeah, I they do get better, deeper. yeah. For sure. But uh yeah, that's something to you know, we're starting to find out all these cures, so the future's yeah, incredibly yeah. sexy. People are living longer than yeah. ever nowadays, man. Oh yeah. Or like well, you found I, that I, one I don't billionaire. Just live longer. I need to remember and be able to walk. 
and all that stuff. And know? have an erection. Yeah, yeah preferably know. run too, you know. <laughs> erection? Yeah, oh, you run it. I don't know. Erection, about that's, you know, whatever. <laughs> if I could run. Oh, okay. Wasn't, okay. wasn't Elon Musk doing something with like Neuralink that was supposed to be helping with people with like dementia? Yeah, but I don't know if that's with erections. <laughs> yeah, like you might, you might be digitalized into uh you know like some server yeah they had the but, second yeah. person hooked up to Neuralink. i don't know how that's going i think it was a success the first guy who was a paraplegic super awesome guy uh has been able to play pretty much any video game at not just a decent level but almost like a level to where he said it's going to become unfair in esports in the future like there needs to be a whole another league of esports to um make room for people to get Neuralink because it's just <laughs> that much better. The disabled. I think tournament. he even plays RuneScape. Oh. Yeah. So he plays. Well then it's all the wasted game. on the man. <laughs> was he gonna be in like solo <laughs> missions next Dead Mamo tournament? He's gonna be rank <laughs> one, brother. <laughs> Dude, he just did an eight way one take back to back into perfect Dude, all at the same time. It's crazy. I wonder oh. if he plays leagues, bro. I bet he would go crazy with a Neuralink, man. Oh my gosh, dude. We're just eventually going to become cyborgs, man. Like people be wished in the future that we really just would die. You know, I think we're going to go down the Wally route. Just I reckon it's fucks in a chair. Reckon, just... I think what will most likely happen is we will just go down the route of like Warhammer 40k. Oh God. And Aliens we're all going to become like Sturbators and like <clears throat> a, a few handfuls of people are going to become space Marines. And then the emperor of mankind is going to be Donald Trump, and he's going to be on the front. <laughs> he's going to be alive for enough Diet Cokes and fucking McDonald's. <laughs> and then what? The gods show up. They reveal the themselves. Emperor. Dude, the, the, the crazy part about that, because I was just getting into Warhammer with that new game that came out, I was like, this is beautiful. But if that were to honestly be what happens to humanity, that means it probably already exists. We're already being watched over by something like that. And we just have no idea. Yeah. It is it's a really interesting thought, isn't it, man? Like, <clears throat> I, I think that without a doubt that there is life out there, whether it's intelligent or not, I'm not sound. That's, like, the only thing. And it's so difficult, isn't it? Because, like, would they know? Like, imagine if there was an intelligent species that managed to, like, find Earth. you got to think, if that was us, like, if it was the other way around, we would 100% be looking at that planet and being like, what do they oh, have? Yeah. What can we take? What do they, what's a valuable resource that we need? You no, know? you know, no, what we do is because in NASA, we actually have a rule for this in case we just, um, don't interfere, just observe, right? So we already have rules like that. And I feel like if it was a higher, um, whatever species, they would do the same thing because there can't be that rare of resources. We need to bum fuck your way on over fucking half a light year to come grab I some mean, water, right? We, we know probably, that liquid water is like a really rare thing in the universe. It's not. I mean, some of our moons, li some of our moons have water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? They do, but it's like frozen. So liquid, like it has to, like, think about it. the planet has to be like at the perfect range. There's a word for it where it's far enough from the sun that it's, you know, <clears throat> it's not um, like zone. evaporated and it's not uh too far away that it's frozen yeah that's it, the inhabitable zone yeah. so like that is genuinely a rare so zone. which region is habitable in the <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so i mean that's rare in itself you know and if that is I, something that isn't a commodity maybe they want it i don't know dude because I, I think they can just make it i think they could just make it with certain ingredients i think that's kind of how science does i think we even actually have hydrogen machines that can make water in certain areas already so just times that by a thousand and who knows how that's going to go yeah, i think they'd like be more two. interested in in the things that live here you know just it'd be like a reality tv show you know it's like what are these people doing like to go off on a little bit of a tangent, off a tangent. If we aren't already. <laughs> yes, because we're just having fun now, obviously. Um, so in Rome, I know you like Rome a lot, Racy. Yeah, I do too. I think all men think about Roman empires. But I've been listening to historians who uh, kind of go down these like stories, because a lot of these stories are like written down in notepads and they're still deciphering. They're not like mainstream stories. And you'll have warriors and soldiers writing stuff like this and one of the battles actually a lot of the battles you'll have roman soldiers saying they've seen shields in the sky what's a shield oh, right roman alien stories right dude mm -hmm. so yeah, they legit bro. have there was so many um roman stories written by people that are not very important that you know you can date back and they're still finding more of just all of these they just see some shit in the sky and a lot of it is during these wars. 
And if you think if you were about to go to another planet, you would probably want to watch the craziest massacre of all time, which are these Roman wars. I mean, one war was so bloody, 70,000 Roman soldiers died in an hour. That's never fucking happened on Earth. 70,000 people dead in an hour, bro. You know what? Well, the war was cool. <clears throat> oh, I, I, it's one of the big ones. It's like the bloodiest war in Roman history against some the crazy history. emperor they, or against some, some strategic guy they couldn't win against. Um, but, I mean, just to think that you have these stories of Roman soldiers looking at the sky. All right, I mean, wh- why would they lie about that shit? You know what I mean? During the Second Punic Punic War, it's been suggested that upwards of 300,000 Roman soldiers were killed by Hannibal's army Hannibal. at the Battle of, uh, I don't know how to pronounce this, Cannae alone? Is that is Cannae? God, I should know how to say that. 20% of the Romans fighting age were killed up to 70k by the end of the war. One in six Roman adults male population was dead. So it's against Hannibal, bro. It's crazy. Yeah, Romans were crazy because they weren't like the war gods you think they were. They were just very accommodating to anyone around. So they'd be like, oh, we'd adopt this group of people. <laughs> have your men go to battle. And they just keep adopting these people and raising armies. Kind of like how Russia did fighting a, maybe Germany where they would just build tanks that are really shitty, send it out pick up the parts, send it out. They don't care how many deaths they get. They're just going to keep sending people out until their opponents are crushed. So that's why you have these super bloody wars is they didn't really have great strategies. They would just not care how many people died. And the other people would run out of people to defend themselves, dude. So if I was an alien, I'd probably be watching that shit too. I figured to pay. Yeah, but that's just like from our perspective, isn't it? Because like, what if you were an alien and you came from like, a really peaceful planet where like war and fighting and like having arguments just wasn't even a thing bro like that that wasn't even a concept and they they come to our planet and they're like wow these beautiful species i want to help them and gift them with like long life and shit and then you just see them ripping each other apart just like just the worst (laughs) ways catapulting body parts and feces i mean it's just the worst things you could ever do to people bro they're like what the fuck (laughs) you know the thing the thing i like to think about though is like if there is like another intelligent species of alien out there i bet you they I bet you their sort of like history and timeline is so similar to ours, like where it's just like the period of like building shit, and then eventually everybody's kind of got just about enough resources. And then I always think like, what is the version of RuneScape that they're playing? Because they're playing just, some game that is like RuneScape. I can guarantee it, man. It's gonna be one way different. The same, they're just bro. like us. I bet. I guarantee they are. What if this is just what intelligent species do? They just get like fucking locked in their room online all the time, eating shitty food. It doesn't matter where you come from. That's just like end goal. Just how we develop. Just degenerates, dude. Alien yeah. degenerates, man. I mean, I, I've got I've got a friend who um he talks about like the future a lot, and it's quite funny because he always talks about it in a way where everybody's like we've got to a point as a society where you know all the jobs you know you know people always say oh ai is going to take away our jobs and stuff like that people are generally quite fearful he's on the other side of it and he's like no dude he's like when all the jobs are taken by the ai robots everybody's just going to be able to do what they want like everyone's just going to be able to be at home play games go on holiday like do whatever they want you know it'd be be a case of you can just do as you please with your time mm. which is like that's, it's a it's a nice way to think about it but i don't know how realistic the outcome is you know that's um that's kind of how i see it obviously there could be eviler turns and i think the eviler turns come from like say google's ai gemini is woke right and so if you were to be oh, like can you paint me a picture of thomas jefferson it would be like uh, it couldn't do white people. It'd always be black people. So it was like a time where it was just teaching them. There are no white people in history. Everyone's black. It was crazy. So if there was a way where we can go into the darkness, it'd be like if humans engineered AI to be a certain way and that kind of got loose. But like normally, if we're able to integrate AI into society and give them love for humans, I think there's a very good chance that we uh, have all this spare time to just kind of think about the biggest questions of earth like or uh, of consciousness and and life outside Mm -hmm. of consciousness and where we come from i think that's like the end goal for humanity and ai can help us achieve that i think we're so far away from that though like in reality man like 
we're in the first step. We're not, yeah, it's yeah, like an escalator that's fucking. If we ever get there, dude, like I reckon we're talking like thousand years away. To be that's honest, not even you. that long, though. That's it not even that us. long. Well, yeah, rice cut might be alive. I mean, at the end of the, <laughs> at the, end of the day, though, right? You got to think about it. It's like, what, trying, what trying. is it that keeps you going? Like, think about this for a second. Imagine that scenario was true right now, and you never had to work again. You never had to do anything that you didn't want to. That might seem really good, like right now. Like, oh my god, I could go traveling. I could do this. I could do that. But like, what happens when you get bored of it? What what happens when you have nothing to do and there's like no goal, there's nothing to work towards because everything's been given to you? What is your life at that point? I feel like that is like I I don't think there's like a good like ending to that story. I feel like that doesn't go to a good place, well, you know. I, I get that mindset, but that mindset comes from a capitalistic society where we all have to have not only a job, but side hobbies that generate revenue. And we all gotta take care of our families and be the man that, you know, like we have to constantly work so we don't get to kind of imagine goals outside of that unless it has a financial incentive. Whereas if you take away that financial incentive, what's left is the mysteries of life that are just, you know, what is consciousness? What is outside of the expanding universe? What happened before the universe was here, right? All of these yeah. things that we think we're inching closer towards, but the closer we get, the farther it seems because more questions appear. And we, as a society, we don't even get to think about that because we have all these bills and responsibilities and taxes, bro. Um, so I don't think, I, I think obviously a lot of people would get bored, but people are already bored in their jobs now. But to open your mind up to those ideas yeah. is like, that's why we're here, I think, bro. How could you get bored of thinking about, like, if you could literally just spend all your time talking with friends and family and, and enjoying your life and trying to get closer to those truths? I, I totally like, agree. I, I think it's good. I definitely think it's good to be able to do that. But I'm just saying, like, if that were to happen right now, I do, that's what I'm saying. I think that we're not near that. No, no, it's we're like, still financially it, obsessed for sure. Yeah. And I don't yeah. know if that will ever change, to be honest, but I, I feel like the only way that would ever change is if, like, mankind came together for, like, a single cause, you know? Like, I imagine a close. scenario where it's like there's, like, a comet coming towards Earth, and it's just like, boys, we've got 10 years to deal with this thing, or we're all done, you know? And then what do we do as, like, a civilization? We start building rockets, man. Everybody, like, all of us, we stop being content creators. We're working for Elon Musk, dude. We're building the rocket to get out or whatever, you know? There has to be sort of like a combined, like something that combines everybody. It's like, oh, yeah, you know what? The whole Ukraine thing, this is a bigger problem. Let's deal with yeah. this. We can get back to that later. Fuck it, you know? I don't well, know. Wars would, would be, be like cool. pointless then, yeah. That's, that's why I feel like we're heading there. We're obviously not even close, but this is the closest I feel like as humanity has ever been to something like that where everyone is kind of following these great minds and these great leaders. And, and, you know, those people are the ones building the AI that's not woke. It's just, you know, um, they're building it for humanity, right. To teach. Mm -hmm. And hopefully they teach it to love. Cause I guess the scariest thing about AI is whoever creates the AI gets to kind of teach the AI the, the fundamental rules that it's based off of. And that could be so fucking terrifying for humanity later down the line. And we're at those steps now to where we're building these AI how are they going to think? How are they going to treat us? You know, is it going to care we more about the color of your skin? Or you? We don't <laughs> let them, bro. We don't let them think. That's the whole, that's a robot. You that's just happening, brother. Robot. We can't stop. Stay inside that little robot box. You don't let it out. It's, okay. Before you know it, dude, that thing's got control of shit that we don't even know about. You know, that's what I'm saying. You can't stop it. You might as well try to create something that's going to be beneficial. You can't stop it. We have all of, you know, half of the shit in, in not only America, but the world is ran off of like old software and shitty power lines. All things that can be obviously hacked by anyone that has a brain. Can you imagine what AI could do to us? <laughs> if it wanted to, dude, yeah, it gets us up, dude. It is, it is, ready. it is worrying, man. I don't know. Uh, it's, it's like we're, there's two sides to the coin. Bryce Cup, what do you think? I'm just trying to play some RuneScape, you know, just chilling, <laughs> playing some games with my free time, you know, if I got more free time or work on some yeah, but hobbies. What are you going to do, you know? bro, when like the AI controlled, um, fucking little, oh, don't worry, I've lost it. What, take don't over the that. world? Yeah, what like what like happens Terminator when, like, the, type of shit? 
when the, when the AI drones are outside your window and they're looking in, <laughs> you're like hunched over playing RuneScape. You, you well, know the I fun think, part. I think we fucked up at that point. You know, <laughs> it's already here. Have you seen the dress? But the fun part is about this idea is if you do take the financial incentive away and that everyone can live on their own healthily with with no need to struggle for resources, video games then become their resources, right? Um, well, yeah, you gotta have fun. Of, entertainment would be like probably one of the biggest. You would have a games. like we already have a pretty deep online economy in a lot of games even runescape right you got the venezuelan gold farmers just going ham imagine that times like 50 like that would be the only thing you could really grind to be skill based the quantities of items could be limited right or whatever that's kind of where i see it's like once the financial incentives gone video games are gonna fill that slot and um, our, our, our kids might be to, having some crazy fucking games. There would have to just be like new goals. Like that's the thing. Like if, if there was ever no financial incentive for people, there would just have to be new goals. And like, we're not near that or even close to that. That's yeah. not even a discussion. Like, because you can't just stop people from like living their lives and then just be like, oh, you no longer have to do this. Like you no longer have any kind of goal or responsibility in life. You take that away from somebody and like, you leave them as a shell and that's not good you know so there needs to be like more in like i don't know there just needs to be more outside of it for sure but it is uh it is what it is i want to hear rice cups faults personally but he's not willing to share no i just don't really have too much to add on to it you know do you ever, do you ever think about aliens ray yeah yeah we've talked about you know we had a whole podcast on the on the alien stuff remember like the I the don't, whole exploration. I don't Remember, we did like a, a special podcast. About aliens, you know, we did a special podcast about like space we did, and didn't life. We? Yeah, you know? we did. Dude, that I'm, was years I'm, ago, bro. I can't remember every word you said, Ray. My Sorry. mindset's so much different back. Well, no, because like, because yeah, like, yeah, you, you know, I I I wouldn't really say anything too different, you know. Right? It's just like it's it's a lot of possibilities, right? So could. Hopefully it's good, right? If, if it ever gets to that point, hopefully it's a positive, right? Because that's all I can really hope for, right? Just don't be like Terminator, bro, you know? <laughs> right? That's that's the main thing. Just don't go that route, and uh, I think we'll be all right, you know? Dude, I'm not going to lie. I don't know what this makes me, but, like, when I think about it, I'm like, dude, if AI is all-knowing and it's mega logical and it can, like, sort of, like, figure well, out... Well, I, I think the biggest thing level. is sentience, right? If it develops that, then it's like, all right, where does it go, you know? Basically yeah if it becomes human like right what does you it know go how close it? we are to sentience already i mean there was a chat gbt that already lied you know it already lied it lied and then it was able to do a captcha by hiring someone off fiverr and it said oh why do you need help on fiverr are you a robot and he goes no i just have a bad impaired vision and then he got he got it done he engineered it that's already Wait, happening are you, bro are you referring to the ai as a he so you're well, ready. You're whatever the it. fuck he wants to be, brother. Yeah. Like, yeah, 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 I'm just saying yeah, it's impossible. Right? The AI. Yeah. It's just like AI, yeah. AI, brother. It's just when it gets to that point, then you it's just like, made it into yeah, like its own little to... person, bro. I was yeah. like rooting for it. Well, that it's that. lying. It's already lying, bro. And that's just one version. The craziest part is when people think of AI, they think everyone's working on the same AI. They think everyone's in cahoots. Everyone has a financial incentive to build the same AI. That's wrong. There's all of these companies building their own AI. Yeah. And we probably don't know certain governments that are building their own AI. And all of these different AI have different, you know, they're teaching them different shit. So there, there's definitely, out of all of the AI in the world, there's definitely to be some bad actors. That's just a guarantee. Mm, yeah. Do these yeah. bad actors Dude, do, do you know what? Shit or I, not? Bro, something that like really gets me sometimes is like, because AI is like the new thing, it's like a buzzword almost for like a sales point everything has got something ai in like it was it was a few months ago there was like a new playstation that came out and one of the selling points was like it has ai and it's just like dude it costs like 700 dollars man for what the same thing that fucking alexa can do that costs like 15 dollars on sale like why am i buying the playstation for an ai search it's just like i i, I don't think it's quite there yet i think that people people like to like jump on things before it's like quite adds time you know what I mean? Like you're yeah. talking about like when uh, the dot com bubble happened, right? And it's like people like got way into it before it was like ready and people like lost a lot because of that. 
I just, well, that's just I, humanity I just think, speculation playing out. We're all greedy and we want to speculate, and that's how people get fucking tossed with their it's emotions. Like yeah. Every company nowadays is going to want to go forward and have some sort of AI integration, whether it's a car company, a game console, just because it's like the new cool thing, and you can always rely on some idiots wanting to buy it because it's it's new it's got ai but it's just like eventually what's going to win is whatever is like the most accessible option and oh, yeah. realistically like we're looking at the moment probably like amazon because alexa is so affordable and it's got all that shit built in together it's just amazon's like, gonna get torn bro their shit sucks google's better than amazon's uh and that shit sucks too bro like i'm telling you grok or fucking you know elon's fucking super cluster dude GPUs every time i go on like Twitter. That. Every day I'm on Twitter, it's like, yo, we're doing a 50% premium sale. Get it. It lasts three days. And then I'm just like, I ain't paying shit for your subscription, dude. And then like three days later, it's like, oh, you've missed it. But don't worry. There's another sale. You can get it now for another <laughs> half price. I'm just like, I am never it's like DoorDash <laughs> for your premium subscription, dude. I don't care. Grok, I'm sure you're good, but I can live without you, man. It's but fine. The, the coolest thing that they're doing outside of like health with it are you like a twitter salesman what's going on here man you can no, no, this is not i do like twitter i've made well, i don't want to say that but it's it's good uh but what they're doing is not to do with twitter here but with gaming they're implementing llms i was talking about this before language learning models which are um, ai that you that are based on whatever you feed it so you can feed it information you can give it like uh incredible books on consciousness or whatever you really want it to delve into and it will kind of build its I wouldn't say emotional preference or like intelligence off it, but that's kind of what it's built off. And they're taking these AI LLMs and they're putting them in like Minecraft or like a, a society, right? That's generated and they're filling up like thousands, like a town. Like there's a Minecraft map big enough, like it's like Ohio and they have all these things interacting with each other. And then, and then they're going to put in like, um, you know, like uh, how AI doesn't really know how to live as a human because it doesn't have like a lifespan or it's not like re resource intensive or it needs food. They're adding that in there. So it feels like a human. And then they're just watching this shit play out. This is what we're doing now. It's crazy. We're building. What, what is that? What's the word for it? There's a word for it, man. I can't think of, but we're literally building that where AIs interact with each other, acting like humans. Mm. Sorry. Um, it's just crazy. Dude. Imagine playing a game. And every NPC in that game thinks it's real and it's AI. And you just have no fucking idea what it's going to say. That's that means every game shit. in the future is going to become replayable as fuck. Every Let's Play is going to be different, right? That's the future we're kind of heading towards. And that is so badass, dude. Yeah, you ever watch Westworld? Because that's that pretty much sounds like Westworld. Yes, <laughs> dude. I just finished season one, like literally like two weeks ago. Yeah, yeah it's basically like Westworld. But yeah, it's the possibilities are absolutely you know crazy with you know technology, right? It's always been the case with uh, you know human innovations, right? So this is different, dude. I mean, we're building. I wouldn't say a consciousness. I think it's never well, going to be mean, a consciousness. Yeah, it's different, but more so. I mean, like you know how far we we've come, right? As yes. as the years goes on, right? It's always very exponential, right? But you think we would so. slow down? Not nah, go faster. I don't know about slowing down, you know. But you, you think we'd like slow it. down at all? But no, we're literally progressing even faster yeah, than we were. And the last fifty years have right? been crazy fast. You know, yeah. the internet, uh, the nuclear bomb, the mobile phone, and yep. we're just constantly innovating. And with AI, it's even fast. It's like the next ten years are going to be fucking rid ridiculous, dude. Yep. Mind that's it's almost it's, too fast. It's, uh, yeah, I, I, in my opinion, I feel like we should slow down, but it's impossible, you know, because oh, no, the when there's collective, the there's collective no uh, greed of, you know, civilization is just too crazy. So we just always want to oh, yeah. just, you know, become God, basically. So, but yeah, I don't know. It's just like, I'm kind of happy with our, you know, with my current lifestyle. So it's like, I don't think... Personally, I need it to be changed so much, but you know, it's not like I get to decide, right? Too much yeah. of yeah, that. Yeah, no, you're gonna be going to like. Our... <laughs> I enjoy my time the most, like being out in the countryside with like the air on my face. Truly, yeah, I, I would chilling, take yeah, that yeah, yeah. all I like day that long stuff if more, I could, but... man. I, and that's the thing, like I don't know. I feel like that there's like a massive disconnect between people that are like super into like the AI stuff. And then the people that are just out there living, bro, and they ain't got time for it, you know, yeah, or they just the enjoy things. But the coolest yeah. part about that 
is that AI encompasses all. Like I know an AI that its main purpose is to replenish rainforest. That's all it does. It literally goes, how can we create more nature? And that's going to, it's tackling one of the biggest problems. There's another one that's like, how do we depollute the ocean? So mm. it's, it goes hand in hand with, it's so broad that you just give it a, pro, it's like a problem solver. And if you localize it to any problem, it'll eventually go further than how humans have. And if there's a financial when, incentive, it builds it. It's fucking do you, sweet. Do you think the Jagex are going to be able to defend against AI bots? I think there's already some in the game and they're failing at well, one, not defending against them, but just normal bots. So, you know, it's like times that by 20, they're already kind of look at, look at the wilderness. Dude, everything's dude, can I? I'm going to build an AI and be like, program it to max my account and only have human like inputs and it's make doable. sure that it clicks in different spots every time. So I never it's actually that. doable. I'm not even <laughs> smart. And I might be able to figure that shit out with some of the stuff I know, but I'm not because that's <laughs> just never click in the same place twice. Yeah. <laughs> you could you could probably right. make an AI that plays RuneScape and it doesn't even know it's an AI. It could just feel like a character and it's just playing the game how it is. You would never know. You would just never know. It'd be like a role player that probably already exists now, and it would just learn. Like some AI, um, you have speedrunners right that pop certain um robots in the games and they'll just have it run the same game millions of times and then once you get to a certain point it'll figure out the game in a way to where you could never figure that shit out by yourself and then they'll learn from those speedrun tactics and add it to their speedruns that's our yeah there was happening. there was um i don't know if it was a study that was done but it was uh do you know you heard of the game dota it's like league of legends it's like but it's not league of legends it's you like can draw dicks person. on the map dude it's pretty sick so i'm pretty sure i think it was an ai um account that they had on there it was either ai or it was like some advanced bot and it basically did what you just said like it, it got its ass kicked time and time again played like thousands of matches and eventually got to the point where it was so good that like the professional players were watching its games and like realizing like oh shit it just did this like, we've never done that before. We're going to start doing that. And then the players became better because they became more efficient by seeing how the AI played and, like, tackled certain situations. So, I mean, that's pretty cool. Yeah, make an AI to pick the best uh, region combos. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude. Or, like, best order of the task best, to do. What's yeah. the best p piece of flax to be able to pick to get back to the will to spin it in Sears Village and bank in the fastest time? Yeah, yeah that's exactly what we should be doing yeah. with our resources for sure. Yeah, but um, are we, uh, do we need to cover anything else for this? For the least I think stuff? we're good. I don't think it, if they listen to this whole fucking rant, yeah. they probably don't expect us to go back to League. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. If if the people have watched up until this point, leave a comment. <laughs> AI Roman aliens, or one AI Roman aliens. And or if anyone anything along that, those lines, if I guess. anybody leaves that comment. Rice Cup is personally going to meet you in World Free Furry and give you 100 <laughs> mil cash. One yeah, the, the person AI per version account. of me, whenever it's made, you know. Yeah, and if this video is 500 <laughs> likes and we get a lot of those comments, dude, I'll go even deeper. I only touch like 5%. So it's disgusting what I know. So we're just true, 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 If man. not, fuck it. We'll burn that knowledge. Gone. Yeah, I this think is we like need, the safe I think combos. We need, dude, dude, dude. 500 mm -hmm. likes. We'll do it with Solo Mission, who, if any of you don't know, Solo Mission's. Um, college or uni tutor was brian cox do you know who that is yeah he's the I space he's guy big. he's like uh yeah. you know so pretty... solar mission's gonna know everything about aliens bro like he's just got he looks like one bro he's got the neck for it you know i, I mean? think he could be one honestly i, I don't know although you i can't saw... get a runescape without being an alien dude <laughs> i saw a picture of him today on Boaties timeline they like got a picture together i'm not even convinced the solar mission because his neck's not that long in the picture like, oh, I actually no. it shrinks by an inch. He's trying to get back to normalcy, so it's, it's just slowly blending in. I'm sorry, Solo. Your neck's beautiful, dude. Don't hurt me, bro. It's beautiful <laughs> neck. Beautiful neck. Majestic. All right. <laughs> Let's wrap it up, boys. I think we're done. Right. Uh, we Thank got to two hours, cool. though, so that's, you know, pretty solid. We did yeah, like man. an hour plus of leagues, you know? So. Awesome. All right. Shall right. we uh, wrap up? Wrap up. All right, guys. Yep. All right. We, didn't, we didn't quite talk about all the Echo stuff, but uh, I feel like we covered, we talked. Uh, some of the we actual more about all stuff, of it, so. mate. this is gonna cover yeah. all bases this, we should title this one if you're playing leagues you need to watch this video <laughs>
Yes, 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 yes. Dude, that's actually fantastic, bro. Uh-huh. Holy shit. All right. I want to just rattle your brain every time I need a video idea, see what pops out, dude. Just fucking beautiful. Like that. Yeah, we can't tell you any more marketing tactics. That's going to cost you an online course. So we're going to wrap up here. All right. All right. Peace bye, out. boys.